What's going on, Shady People? Shady Banger here. Welcome you to a brand new series. Today, I just wanted to share with you guys my obsession for this game, Duel Links. Now, if you don't know what this is, first of all, we've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on the channel, Legacy of the Duelist, and that was kind of triggered by the fact that I've been completely obsessed with this game, Duel Links, that is on mobile. It is out on iPhone and Android, and I think pretty much everywhere where anything you can fit in your hand, uh, you can play this game on it. So, go try to figure out what that means, but... This is a Yu-Gi-Oh game, and I really, really, really am obsessed with it. And if you don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, you haven't watched our Kaleida series, it's a trading card game. This is like a miniaturized version, and I say that because you only have three monster zones and three spell zones, which I think is really cool. It's its own little meta. Right now, there's only three packs available. And what I wanted to do today was I just kind of wanted to go through the basics of the game, maybe give you guys some tips and some things you don't know about if you haven't started playing this game, or maybe intrigue you enough to play this game. So, really quick, the number one reason why I would play this game with RU is because there is PvP. There is live dueling you can immediately do. Uh, if you enjoy this meta, which basically this meta, it focuses on ritual summons, fusions, and who can have the bigger monster. So think OG, OG Yu-Gi-Oh! No secret summons yet, no pendulums, none of that. No exceeds, nothing. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to go over each screen and what's available in them. So we're going to start on the very first screen. This is the gate screen. Now, at the gate, there are duelists that you can challenge. They're called legendary duelists, I believe. Uh, you'll see there's Kaiba, there's Joey, there's mine. There's actually Yugi as well, but you guys can see in the bottom right of the screen, I'm actually Yugi right now. When you start this game, you choose either Yugi or Kaiba, and you go ahead and you uh, can unlock. You can unlock more and more characters. You guys can see I've unlocked uh, a buttload of characters. I've been playing for... Before. Yes, I've never seen Tekken like that before. We, I've been playing since the game came out. I think I've been playing for 10 days now. Uh, just about 10, maybe just about two weeks, just under two weeks maybe. Uh, but it's a really, really fun game. Something else you may know, on each, might not know, on each map you can find some gems if you click certain areas of the game. Uh, so we got nothing on this one, maybe we'll get something somewhere else. But you guys can see there's actually duelists all around. We can duel uh, these, these gosh darn duelist CPUs. You can see on the top left of the screen, there's, I think right now I have eight players, maybe nine. Uh, not everything's a duel. So once I duel one, they take 20 minutes to come back. So it's kind of one of those things where you got to wait, but that's great, because otherwise I'd be playing this game nonstop. However, there's no limit to how many PvP duels you could do. So here you have the gate where you can challenge different levels of duels. You unlock uh, their different levels, as you guys can see. Uh, there's level 10, 20, 30, 40. Level 10s are really, really, really easy. Uh, and it goes all the way up to 40. So uh, another thing on this part of the game is the duel school. Uh, they have loner decks where you can go ahead and unlock these gems. You guys will see these gems a lot. These gems are how you purchase packs in the game if you don't want to use real money. I'll show you guys my collection in just a little bit. I have not spent any money yet, but we are spending money in this video. That's actually partially why I need to share this obsession, because I really, I really do want to uh, invest into this game financially. It's a free-to-play. You don't have to buy packs. I made it all the way to Gold 2 uh, on the ladder. You guys will know what that is if you check it out without spending any money. So you don't need money to win. You don't need money to play this game at all. You just have to do the grind. You guys can see that I'm on stage 31. You have these missions uh, on this screen as well. Uh, you guys can see all my missions right here. There's weekly missions, there's normal missions, and then there's special missions. This is a great time to start playing because either today, if I upload this on Monday, uh, then it would be tomorrow. But today, if I upload this on Tuesday, the Pegasus event is starting. And I think you can unlock Pegasus because I burst one on the ladder. So I guess I'm bursting someone from Japan. Uh, there's also a chat that's accessible anytime. Uh, there's people chatting right now. Say hi to Adam. Hi, Adam. Uh, hi. You say hi. And look, it just sends it. And you can send a second or four, uh, message every 14 seconds. Please be safe. Let's see if we get any gems here. Let's hit these light posts. Oh, we got three gems. Let's get it. So here, you guys see, this is the PvP arena. Very simple. Um, there's just the lights you can touch. There's potential duelists. A yellow estimation point means you're going to get some gate keys. Uh, just to go over really quick, because I forgot. At the gate, you need to spend keys in order to duel these duelists. So level 10 Kaiba only costs 24 neutral keys and 7 white keys. However, a level 40 costs 104 neutral keys and 56 white keys. So there's all different colors keys. If you guys check out the gate, you can see each duelist uh, requires different colored, white, red, blue, green, etc. So you get those just by dueling uh, the duelist in the dueling world. The word duel is going to be overused in today's video. Uh, this is the shop. Pretty generic. Uh, 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 coins. coins are used here at the card trader in combination with keys. Uh, so, and, and also these other items you get from battle. You guys can see down here where I'm tapping. It's this ultra rare orb. Those are ultra rare orbs. You have to just, you kind of just get lucky by dueling people and getting them as a reward. 
uh, really convenient. You just click tradable, and you can see whatever cards are actually that you have the currency to trade for. So this only before it requires 5,000 coins. So I pretty much try to get three of each card. Even if I don't think they're very good, I just get it because coins, I have like 140,000 coins. I feel like I have so, uh, so many coins that they feel a little bit infinite. Hopefully uh, something happens where that changes. I already have three of that, three of that. Uh, I only have one of you, so I'll pick you up for 2,500 coin. Uh, let's go ahead. And I think that's the only other thing here is the actual shop. Uh, we'll come back here in a little bit. Uh, as you guys can see, there are three packs right now. The Ultimate Rising, Age of Discovery, and New Impact. We'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, you can tap the top of the shop. We got a Kyber Court Balloon, which means we get some gems. We got three gems. Uh, each pack of cards is 50 gems. So, yes, uh, they are they are a lot, but if you guys check the missions as you go, look, complete all stage 31 missions, you get 50 gems. You get 50 gems just from logging in during the uh, beginning events. Uh, gems are really easy to grind on. I can actually show you guys. I think I bought over... I've definitely bought over 100 packs without spending any money, so it's really, which is really clutch. Uh, this is this is the card studio. If you tap this garbage can down here, uh, if the pot of green pops out, you get some gems. Otherwise, you don't. So regular duels. Sometimes you'll see this duelist here, the Vagabond. This is one of the coolest parts. It's basically red from Pokemon trying to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm here because Katia, Katia, Katania, Katania told me everything about you. So your friends can send the Vagabond to you, and you can send the Vagabond to your friends after you duel him uh, one out of every two or three times. Uh, and they have special challenges. This says spell and trap cards are set from the start. So he's going to start out with the full uh, three spell and trap cards. We can actually, we'll have a duel today. Let's do it. Let's duel the Vagabond. I usually, I'm not going to say that I win against the Vagabond. I don't normally, I pretty much normally lose. But let's see how it goes. I'm using my right now? Oh, I didn't mean to use my. I just did that when I was showing you guys. Okay, all right, let's see what deck we have going right now. I have no idea. Each duelist, by the way, has special abilities you can unlock as you... Why did the game just crash? So I don't know why the cat's card crashed, but we are my versus the Vagabond. And I don't know what deck this is. I accidentally clicked her just when I was showing you guys uh, the characters. And as I was saying, I don't know if it got cut off yet. But each character has different abilities that you can unlock as you level them up. You gain experience from every duel you'll see after this. Uh, they level up, and you get unlockables at each level. So this is my Ritual Summoning deck, and Mai's ability lets her see the top card of her deck at all times, so you know what you're going to draw. I know that I'm drawing my Sphere Karibo, so that's pretty good information to know. Let's draw it right there. Uh, he's got a 1,700 monster on the field. I have Jelly Bean, Jerry Beans, man. I believe that's a super rare. Uh, Jerry Beans, man, is going to be 1750, and I also have Banner of Courage, so let's see if we can actually get through this. He's starting with three Magic Trap, though, so I don't know if this is uh, going to be as easy as it looks. Hopefully. Ooh, it looks like it's... Don't have, don't have a Shifu. You don't. Awesome. So we might be able to end this pretty quickly, which would be great, because there's a lot more I want to show you guys. Uh, he's got D-Spell. There goes my Banner of Courage. Like I said, the PvP is really what keeps me uh, interested. Uh, I've grinded up to stage 30. I've... to do? Grab a payday and cut your appetite in half. Are you looking for a Columbus car dealership built on tradition and trust? Buyers Auto has been family owned and operated since 1890. I believe the max stage is 50 right now. It's 50. Man, I have so much better cards in this than what's in this deck right now, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, you guys can actually see where I'm tapping, which is perfect. So you don't really have to explain everything about the dueling action. Uh, you just click on your monster and drag, slide your finger up in order to duel. This arrow right here is how you change phases. There's no second phase, which I love. There's only main phase, battle phase. So the duels are very, very different. It's its own, it's basically its own form of Yu-Gi-Oh, which I thoroughly enjoy. I cannot express how much I enjoy this. Look at this. I'm about to drop this Karibo. Send Spirit Karibo from your hand to the graveyard. Put that monster in defense position. That's how you win games. I'm pretty sure we're going to win this game. He looks nervous. Look at the Vagabond. Stick to Pokemon. That's what some people are telling me as well, I guess. That's, that's sad. Okay. Let's tribute our... Um, let's tribute our snake hair. The snake hair. And we can let our mech finish this duel off. So I need to take a lick of damage if, I, if this actually goes through. Actually, what, what did you set? Like three D spells? Is that what you set? Three D spells? Oh, wait a minute. What do you have? Curse of Aging. Scroll card remain, decrease the attack and defense of all monster opponents on the field by 500. Okay, just for the turn. 
So you get to live one more, Red. You get to live one more turn. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ain't nobody care. Yeah. How many Eve? How many can you be? Ritual weapon? Oh, we don't have a ritual card. Oh, we're so tight. I think it's the next card we're drawing. No, it's not. Okay. Let's summon another monster. It's important that you, in my mind, when you're, especially when you're reversing the computers, that you play out the entire duel. Never surrender because then you get zero experience points. Even if you're going to lose, whether it's PDP or the CPU, make sure you go ahead and play the whole duel out, otherwise you get nothing for your turn. The more things you do, the more experience you get. You'll see in just a second. Uh, I won with mine. Mine's one of my favorites. I love being able to see the top card of my deck. Duel results. So we got 1,500 uh, experience points. The Dagmon gives a lot more experience points than other duelists give. So you guys can see, once I get to level 18, I get this card right here, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, which sounds pretty uh, risque. And then at level 19, you get 75. But I unlocked all of this stuff just by leveling Maya up. This is one of her powers. This is skill LP boost. Uh, increase starting life points by 1,500, but reduces your card hand by one. So all players have like, these really cool uh, niche masteries or unique abilities, if you will. But you guys can see, uh, this is your dual assessment. So for each thing you do, had I played a trap card, I would have gotten 100 extra points. You get an extra prize on the bottom right here uh, for every 1,000 points. Uh, I got this new card, which is just a well, surface of mine. Pathetic. It's not a, the, I don't want that. I mean, maybe there's a deck out there for it, but that was an interesting duel. Are your friends as skilled as you? If they are, I would like you to introduce me to one of your friends. So I'll go ahead and I usually just like to look at who's online the most recent. Uh, because I like to clear out my friends. If you don't play, if I add you and then you don't play this game for like five days, I, I pretty much remove you. Like, I have to remove that guy. Patters was on ten minutes ago. Me, Patters! I'm setting the challenge. And I'm a nice guy. I don't like to do like super hard challenges. I'm just going to do... Um, no monster effects, which is actually pretty tough. It's actually pretty tough depending on how your deck's built. So, uh, that's awesome. I think we went through all the screens. Let me just make sure. Okay, so the card studio also is where you go to edit your decks. You guys can see uh, when you go to view and edit decks, each character has many, many decks. You can unlock up to three, and then you can pay for more uh, deck slots, but I don't think it's necessary to be completely blunt with you guys. I think three decks per person is plenty enough, and you can even make a deck for one person and just click the copy button. And then you'll be brought here where you can copy a deck into another person's, uh... Because they say you just make generic, this is my good vanilla deck that I can use with every, any character, then go for it. But these are all, like, unlockable characters in the game right now. I've actually unlocked all of them. If you want to know how to unlock these, uh, go ahead and look it up. The Game Facts has... Or, not Game Facts. Wow, I just got brought back to, like, 1998. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the internet has all the answers. Uh, we just don't have them here. Then you have the card catalog. You can view and convert cards. You can convert cards into gold, so you can get new cards from the card trader. But these are all my cards. Uh, there's currently no forbidden and limited list. I, I just wanted to make sure I covered everything before we started cracking with some packs. Um, card sleeves. So you can change your card sleeves. Right now I have this mat selected. She's like one of my favorite characters in the show. So that's why I'm using her as my mat. And I kind of, I kind of really like the Kaiba sleeves. We're going to go with the Kaiba sleeves. For sure. So there's going to be events. There's going to be some cool stuff. For sure. You can actually even check out other people's deck lists. Uh, you can say what, what have been the top rated for this week. These are the top rated decks for this week. As you guys can see. So you can check them out. You can actually click one. And if you have all the cards, you can click copy deck. But we don't have all the cards, so we can't click that down here. It says in the top left right up here. We only have 15 out of 24. So that's a shame. You know, I've, been looking, I've, been, I've been trying to build a couple decks. Uh, right now I have a lot of ritual decks. I have some beatdown decks that are just straight up. Let me use my best cards. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys my catalog of cards real quick. Let's see. Let's just go with one. X money's point on the decks means that there is no deck in here yet. So let's just try to build Weevil a deck real quick. You can have these filters while you're editing because you only want to see your monsters. Bam! You only have to see your monsters. And you can get even more detail uh, by going to filters. You do only normal. I, I like that E they added. That was definitely not there before the last update. Normally monsters. So now we'll only see all of our normally type monsters. Uh, you can get rid of that, though. And if, well, the real thing that a lot of people like to do is uh, you would sort it. You can sort it by either the highest rarity, the highest attack. That's usually the most common. But your rarest cards are usually your best cards in this game. So you can see uh, we have Seer Karibo. We have Galandalf, my newest pull that I just got last night and started using. And I really love it. Double costing. Uh, Kaiser Seahorse. Summoner of Illusions. This card is really fun. I've been playing with it. It's kind of hard to get off. If I had more Sphere of Karibos, I'd make a whole deck around it, but right now it's not worth it. Sonic Bird, I need another one of you. Send you, I need another one of you. Uh, so you guys can see, it's, 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 it's a really, really awesome little meta. Nothing goes above... 
Uh, but the strongest monster is literally Blue Eyes with 3,000 attack right now that I know of. Maybe there's more. You can have Battle Dragon. I have to use that. I don't have a Battle Dragon deck yet. Uh, I guess I could show you more of my cards really quick just so you know what all my... I'll just, I'll just show you all my, my rarest cards because that's what we do here. We bling out. We have Hash Shut, one of my favorite magic cards. It's a monster to survive for a turn. Uh, great when your monster's in defense position or if you want to just beat down your opponent. Uh, blast held by a tribute. I have not used... Nope, I have not used that card yet. So you can just slide up to add it to your deck. You guys can see the little... Uh, I don't know why they call them squares. Little squares. <laughs> when an opponent monster that was tribute summoned declares an attack, destroy as many face-up attack position monsters they control and beat you. Inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but you have to make sure your opponent's using a tribute summoning deck. And right now, ritual summons are pretty popping. Oh, this is a great card. Why am I not using this? During Eater Player's main phase, special summon this card as a normal monster. That's great. I'm going to add that to my deck. I'm going to add that to all my decks. Uh, Mishizuri, this is one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. Right now, it's like the only thing I've seen that lets me just destroy an opponent's monster when they destroy one of mine. Um, I showed you those. Magic Jammers and Ultra Rare. Magical Arm Shield. I don't really use it that much anymore. Because you, your opponent actually has to, has, to, has to have two monsters. Meteor Black Dragon. Woo! This card is powerful with that uh, flip summon. Red Eyes Black. Harpies Lady. Dark Magician. Blue Eyes White. Dark Magician. Blue Eyes White. And then I go to my super rares. So, Warner Balloons, Leotar. Shard of Greed is like the only card in the game right now that I see that lets you go truly plus. You play one, you wait two turns, you draw two cards. So you get to go plus one. Uh, but yeah, really, really a lot, a, lot of, a lot of fun. This game is a lot, a lot of fun. And there's a couple decks that I'm trying to build. This card is really good. I want to pull another one of these and make a Kaiba Dragon deck. Because this card is just amazing. I know that you can only use its effect once. trying everything but then what if i feel a stomach ache again the next day and the day after that a veterinarian recommended that i try home cooking for her and when i did i just made the exact ingredients that were on the front of the bag but i bought fresh ingredients i cooked it myself and when i fed it to her the proof was there and she was just a different dog it was unbelievable and that set me on this journey of what is dog food? Good, real food is simple. It looks like food. It smells like food. It's what dogs are supposed to be eating. Eventually, when I came to the harsh realization that there just wasn't a brand out there for me to feed Jada, I decided to build one. Once per duel, it says, but it's still good. It's a, it's a wind monster, which there's a lot of synergy with wind. And it's also a dragon, so Kaiba has one of the abilities. It starts with mountain on the field. I'm going to go over, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up doing uh, a lot of a lot of duel links. If you guys want it, let me know in the comment section down below if you want more duel links. I probably will. I'm probably going to climb the ladder with you guys. But today, what I want to do before we run out of time is I want to go ahead because I've been itching. I've honestly been itching to drop some, some, some cash on this game. I really have. And I wanted to wait until I recorded with you guys. Uh, you guys can see out of this, now the, the, the way they sell packs is really, really cool. So each box starts with 200 packs. You guys can see that I've bought 88 packs so far. Yes. 88 packs from this set. And basically all these cards down here that you see, they can, they're all in the box. They're, you're guaranteed to pull them eventually. However, as you guys can see, I've pulled a lot of the ultra rares now. The only ones I haven't pulled are the ones that I really want, like Mirror Wall. And uh, Black Pendant. I really want these cards. So I'm refusing to reset the box. Once you've pulled the really rare cards that you want, you can reset the box. I'm getting pretty close to the point where it would be wise to reset the box. Because, uh, think about it. There are only four Ultra Rares left in this box. If I reset it, then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Ultra Rares left in the box. Uh, right, yeah, it actually breaks it down for you right there. Four Ultra Rares, 13 Super Rares, 114 Rares, and... 205 normal cards. Uh, I'll show you really quick as well. For the other sets that I've bought, this box only started with 100 packs. I bought 52 of them because I was trying to build a water deck. Uh, but right now, like this box, I should probably, I should definitely reset. Each pack only comes with three cards, and right now there's only six cards that I would really want to pull. So I think I am going to reset this box, although I don't plan on purchasing this box uh, much more. So maybe I should just buy 
the rest of it and then, and then call it a day. Uh, and then Ultimate Rising has Ultimate Blue Eyes by Dragon. I saw Patterns pull back. That must be nice. Or see your John Pokemon did. But this box has five Ultra Rares left and 20 Super Rares. Although the Ultra the, the ultra Rares aren't exactly... The only one that I really want is Axe Raider and Hain Hain. I wouldn't mind Blue Eyes Ultimate because it's 4500 Beater. So you can use it with Flip Summoning. Uh, Flip Summoning Magician, which I don't remember which box he's in. I guess it's, he's in the other box. So I wouldn't mind buying packs. So let's buy some packs. Let's drop a little coin. Uh, on this game because I really do want to support it. I'm just trying to debate if I want to reset this before I do this. Uh, apparently, the best thing to do is buy, buy packs in increments of 10. That's what I was told. I'm not sure if it's true, but it's what I was told. So I think I'm going to drop 30 bucks right now on 30 packs from this, but I'm trying to decide if I want to reset the box first. I think I am going to reset the box because I really want to pull more Senju and... Uh, oh, the birds in the other box. Wow. I'm gonna reset the box. I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but let's do it. Let's reset it. Wow. You have to click it, reset the box, reset the box. Wow. Alright, let's drop some cash for this video. Just so we can do just so we can do something. Just so we can do a little nibble. A little nibble. So we're gonna open up 30 packs. That's 90 cards. Oh, come on. I have to sign in. Let's do this real quick. Uh Automatically happened. Are you kidding me? All right. I just had to quickly sign in, and then it still went through. Uh, you guys saw there was one Karibo, which means this pack is pretty lame. It's going to be a pretty lame pack. Another ally just as Clout plus Solace, which I don't really need at all. So something tells me that we just burned $30. Oh, man. Please don't tell me that we did. I need it. Finally, I have three. I've had two, and I've been searching for the third one for so long. That's like my favorite ritual summon right now. Oh, you guys saw the hieroglyphics? Okay, we cut open that pack. The Phantom Cricket. It's her one face down monster from the field to the top of the Tunner's deck. It's pretty good, actually. The Kick Man. Why did we have Hieroglyphics there? Why did we have Hieroglyphics? Give me more Karibos. High Tide on Fire Island. Not the best. Uh, Doriotos Blessing. I have three of those already. And then Guardian Seal. I don't like this card. Uh, I don't like that card. Three Karibos. Three Karibos. What is this going to mean for us? Ritual of Destruction. Summon Garandolf. And we get Elemental Mistress uh, Duriato, which this deck, I definitely want to try to build it for you guys. It's a pretty interesting deck, using the Elemental deck. But so far, we've gotten hot garbage. A major upset, should you want to face up level 2, uh, attack position level 2, or lower monster opponent control. Oh, you monster you control. Turn on face up 7 or higher. Uh, release Restraint Wave. Target one face up a quick spell, you control, destroy the quick spell, and all face up. Ooh, that's not bad. So it's a 2 for potentially 3, or 2 for 2, is what you'd want. Probably 2 for 2, uh, minimum. And considering a lot of players start out with a notorious shorter, I need another one of those. Considering a lot of players start out with a field spell, since that's what like Yugi does, he starts out with Yami, Kaiba starts out with mountains. Painful escape, not that great, fair to spring. Wow, we're getting we just we literally handed Konami $30 and got nothing to show for it. Oh my gosh. Violent charger. These next 17 packs need to be brilliant. They need to be brilliant. I wish I do wish there was more cards per pack. I honestly do. We're getting nothing. We have to get something. We can't have our first poll video have no polls. I'm gonna <laughs> poll like Common Charity is a fantastic card. If you get this card, use it. I love it. All three Karibos, but no ultra rare. Oh, come on! Meteor Dragon, Elemental, Valkyrie. Three Karibos. Still no ultra, though. You guys will see what I mean when, I, when, when there's going to be an ultra rare. Element Dragon's really nice if you want to build a fire deck. Right now, there's not a lot of fire... Creatures in the game, though, is super stupid. Chopping the Desperate Outlaw, Phantom Cricket, and Dragon Seeker. That card's not that great. It was used against me once, and it was pretty... It, it, it ruined me. Okay, so that means we're supposed to get either a Super Rare or an Ultra Rare in this pack. We have Phantom Cricket, and we have Dweller in the... I wanted this card! I needed this card! This card is so good in Kaiba's deck. It's a dragon. I can't even see the dragon. It's tiny and in the back. I have Do Not Disturb on here. What is going on? What, where's Do Not Disturb? Why is this happening? I have Do Not Disturb! Stop liking my tweets! Okay. Here we go. It had, it had... I see a ritual card back there. I see a ritual card. What do we got? Oh, it's just... Oh, come on! It's too lame! I thought it was gonna be Gallendorf again. Darn it, man. Absolutely darn it. Emissary, Emissary of the Oasis. Beckoning Light. Okay. So we've only gotten one super rare out of 30 packs. Okay, hold the phone. 
Gravedigger's Rule, Arcane Archer of the Forest, and Death's Capital. Why were you special? I don't like that. That card's actually really good. Uh, it's really, really, really good. It stops your opponent from attacking you directly. Ooh, Micro Ray. Sounds like Nips. Target one face-up monster in the field. That target defense becomes zero. This turn. Ancient Dragon's also a fantastic card. You get a successful direct attack. It gains 500 life points and a star, which is great for ritual summoning decks. This is going on forever, and we're not getting anything. Bamboo Sprout. No, are we really getting ripped off? I wanted... Oh, no, I didn't need another Dragonfly. I need another Guardian. Okay, three Karibo. Where's my space? My space is in here. Bamboo Scrap, the beginning of the end, and Desert Sunlight. Come on! I feel like we only have, like, four packs left. Manthro Tro, the Puppet Magic Dark Ruler, and Machine King Prototype. We're, we're, we're getting screwed, man. I feel it. We're getting screwed. They know. They know. The Kick Man, Radiant Spirit, and Ritual Weapon. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I can't handle this. I've never gotten this bad of pulls when I didn't spend money. What did I do wrong? No Mai's face. Again, Mai's bad luck. Mai's terrible luck. Ooh, we did get a super rare shooting star seal. And this, okay, so something that I over overlooked in this game is that you can equip these to your opponent's monsters. So it drops, the equip monster loses 1,000 attacks. So say you need to quickly get over someone's attack, bam. You do it with this. Not a bad card. Ooh. Did we actually get... We got the bam! Let's see what we got. Rajin. The kick man. And another double cost, which is great because it can go in a Dark Magician deck and a Barrel Dragon deck. So I'm not mad about that. 1,700 beater with a great effect. Look how shiny that is. Woo! Can we get another Ultra Rare, though? Because for 30, for 30 packs, we're only getting one Ultra Rare. Pretty unheard of to me. Umbral Soul and Beckoning Light is the last one. I, I'm just waiting for it to be the last one so I can just sit down and be disappointed for the rest of the night. Bamboo Scrap, Scanner, and Lycanthrope. So now I have more than I need. We're done with you, Lycanthrope. I don't need you anymore. Okay, we have three. He winked. I've never seen that before in my life! What was that? This better be so good. This better... I disappointed. I know it's a super rare ship at this point, but the Karibo got large and in charge. And where I'm from, when you're large, you're good. <laughs> That's still a really great card. It's still a really, really great... See, no wink. No wink. Three Karibos, no wink. Wadapan, Ritual of Grace, and Fusion Weapon. Okay. Is that alternate art? That's the same card. But that's alt art. There's alt art in this game? I'm a sucker for alt art. Are you serious? I am a sucker for alt art. Look at this. Okay, so like I said, I bought almost 100 packs. I bought almost 100 packs already. I only got out of 30 packs. I got one, two, two new cards. And one of them is alt art. So, what I'm trying to say is that it's easy to collect the set without spending money. You don't have to spend money. Truth is, I really just want to want to support the support this app. I want to support this app. I do. Uh, I can't believe that we only got one ultra rare out of that. Uh, I really can't believe it. It's it's a little astonishing to me. I have regrets about resetting the box for sure, but. Now that we can do from there, uh, we're gonna have to. I'm, I'm buying up the rest of the box at some point. You can bet your bottom dollar. I mean, I already have almost 500 gems, so I can get another 10 packs easy mode for free. But I think I'm gonna wrap that one up here. Let me know if you guys are into this game. If you're playing, maybe make some connections in the comment section, add some of the shady people, duel them, and try to be the best. I think I'm gonna start climbing the ladder on the channel once we get to gold again, because now they've added platinum, it goes silver, it goes bronze, or it goes rookie, bronze, silver, gold, platinum. So I got to gold too during the last season. The seasons are really short. It seems like only a couple weeks, which is great. So you have constantly have to keep playing and uh, be the best there were ever was to catch them. Nope, wrong game. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section below. Have yourself a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it. Peace of mind. Peace of mind, peace of mind, peace of mind, peace of mind. So No. What?
What's going on, Shady People? Shady Pinker, welcome back to a, the next episode of Duel Links, or another video of Duel Links. I'm so glad to see that you guys jumped on the bandwagon with me. We get tweets from you guys calling Ultra Rares nonstop. And today, I believe a very special event started. If we check our messages really quick, we see Welcome to Tomb World, temporarily suspended. What? Has been temporarily suspended to address the service stress caused by concentration of accesses. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused. The Welcome to World event will be recommenced once the issue's been resolved. Oh, no! That's why I started recording. Well, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, because what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a deck live for you guys. That was the other thing I was going to do before taking on Pegasus, but apparently, apparently we're not taking on Pegasus today. Look at this. 200 free gems for the, for the apologies. 500 gems. You can claim them until 3-1. Make sure you guys get online and claim these gems. We just got, like, 700 gems for free. Shoutouts to Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Shoutouts to Konami for the hookups. Uh, of course, I want to check if we get any free, any other free gems by touching those uh, little areas that they should do. There's a new card tree. Nar Ooh, I want another bazoo so bad. Uh, you need 20 Earth, and I only have 14, and you need 5 Super, and I only have 3. That's a shame. Uh, Gravekeeper's Oracle. I would love that as well. Darn it. You can also get gen those those things that you need by trading in your uh, your current cards that you have. I only buy one of these. Actually, no, 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 no. I only buy three of if it's cost coins. Like if I have none and it's at the market, I'm buying it. I'm buying it with my coin. But if I have to use other things, I, I wait a little bit. I wait a little bit. I'll take three Royal Knights. We have three. We're done. We're done. That's it. Three and done. Uh, but what I want to do today is build a deck that we'll use uh we'll use in one pvp match i guess we'll see how it goes uh, i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna build yet i think i think i'm gonna run through the characters and try to build their specific deck so today's gonna be the yugi deck originally i was gonna do the pegasus event however the pegasus event is suspended uh did not realize that had no idea uh, definitely disappointed i was really looking forward to doing tomb world today but it, maybe it'll be tomorrow and we'll upload it again tomorrow who knows uh, as long as you guys keep enjoying it we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to keep this going Let's go ahead and build a Yami Yugi deck from scratch. You can see what I have and what I will be doing. Actually, you know, before we do that, before we do that, let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb, because clearly, clearly, things will be disturbed. Let's buy some packs. You guys really enjoyed the pack opening part of the last video, and you guys let me know, hey, moron, you pulled Fusion Weapon, not, it wasn't alternate art, it was Fusion Weapon, so... We pulled Fusion Weapon wherever that may be. Where is it? It was right here. I can't believe that was the first one I pulled, and that's rare. Uh, we're going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to be that guy. I'm going to buy another 30 packs. I don't advise doing this. To be honest, guys, I'm doing this because I'm making videos on it. So I like to plug back into the channel. Uh, whoa. I like to plug back into the channel uh, the income that these videos make. So this is part of the video making process. It's the only reason I'm doing this. Uh, I played the game for two weeks without, making, without spending any money, and I could definitely do it again. Uh, definitely would. But for the sake of having some stuff to put on the channel, let's go ahead and open up these packs. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything new. Desert Sunlight and Sprite's Blessings. We got a double rare there. That's not bad. Double rare is cute. Double rare is cute. Radiant Spirit. What we're really hunting right now is that black pendant. We really want to see that black pendant. We're hunting it. Can we actually pull it? I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not. Uh, then, of course, I'll do some packable things of the other packs as well for you guys. Three Karibos. Oh! It smells like a black pendant! It smells just like it. Oh, it's, and it's a magic! Yo! Are we serious right now? Yes! Oh my god, we actually got it! Let's freaking go! Oh, I love this card so much. This card brings back so many memories. So many memories. Just listen to that. Mm. We actually got it. That is flames. That is flames. Can we get a mirror wall, too? That would be fantastic if we can get a mirror wall. I would be so freaking ecstatic. By the way, yes, I'm wearing these gunners because my eyes... I went to the eye doctor the other day, and I put a little bit too much strain on my eyes with all my gaming and working in front of screens, so I got to wear these a little bit more often than I was. I was wearing them, but nowhere near as often as I should be. So you guys might see me in these a little while. Uh, I apologize if you don't like the look or the glare or whatever. I don't, I don't really care. Freaking, you're here for the UV, aren't you? You're here for the beard. I know. At least the glasses don't cover up the beard. Uh, another... Come on, come on. Give us another Ultra or Super. The Karibo leaked and exploded. Come on, come on. It's not an Ultra, but it's something decent. It's not an Ultra, but it is... I will take it! Two Jerry Beans, man. Oh, our 
deck is going to be complete flames. Our deck is going to... I already know what I want to build. I, I'm going to do Yugi today, but I really would like to build a Weevil deck with plants. Because we have, um... We have two Jerry man. We can play that tribute that increases the attack of all plant-type monsters. Oh, that would be so good. That would be so much fun. All right, let's figure it out. We'll figure it out later. I'll figure out some more decks for you guys. And, of course, once we build the deck, you guys will see, I'm going to put it on the layout itself so you can always see what the deck is. Okay, so it's not an ult. I don't think this is an ultra because the other one was, like, completely gold. But whatever this is, it should be good. We have an N. We have a rare. We have an oh! We got the extra ultra rare! It is ultra rare! This is great. This is so much better than the last 30 packs. So much better. If you control Dragon Hit Monster, target one spell trap and deal, destroy that target. See, that's such, this is such a good card in the Kaiba deck. You need that card in the Kaiba deck. At least one. I would actually, since it's a 20 card deck, so one of is fine. But one of is fine. Oh my gosh. Yo, are we gonna get a winky face again? No winks. No winks, McGee. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about mobile games. I've been wanting to play mobile games on the channel. Yes, I needed another strawberry. Oh, I think that's my last, the third one I needed. I've wanted to play mobile games on the channel for such a long time, and there's a few mobile games that are coming out, or that have just come out, that I'd really love to bring to you guys. So hopefully it's not just the Yu-Gi-Oh you're enjoying, and maybe you'll, you'll, be, you'll be down to broaden your horizons and join me on this mobile adventure. I kind of love doing mobile because I know that all the, with most of the shady people that are watching have access to that. They have access to a phone or an iPad or, or some, some sort of tablet where they could play. Ooh, Arcane Archer of the Forest. When there's a plant monster inside the field, this card cannot be attacked. Attributing one plant monster to destroy... That's a... I mean, that would be... I kind of like it. I kind of like that card. Oh, baby. Is this the third Ultra? No way. I mean, I'll take it. Gravity Axe is fantastic. It's a 500 booster. It's my second one, but I'm fine with it. I might make an equip deck where you just go in with all these equips. Micro Ray and Sprite's Blessing. I wonder how many packs do we have. I wonder how many packs we have. Major Upset, Patrol Robo, DD Crazy Base. And then we got ourselves Sit to Spell, Bamboo Scrap, and Coop Julian. Yo, what's crazy is that, like, I'm an obsessed collector, and I want to get three of each card, including the Ultra Rare. So we're going we're gonna to have a long adventure uh, with this game, I feel. We're going to have a very long adventure with this game. See, a game that just came out today was actually Sword Art Online for, your, for, for the mobile. All right, now I definitely have enough strawberries. Uh, I'm done with these strawberries. So I think I want to bring that to the channel. Let me know if you guys... Oh, this is the card I was talking about, Fairy King Truesdale. It has to be in defense position now, but still. Increased by 500, Jerry Beans, man. Oh, I think I have enough material for Dragonflies, actually. Oh, I thought we were going to get another Ultra. Oh, we're getting something. Yugi looks confident. What is this going to be? so good for the Kaiba deck. Basically, when you drop this card, it's like an 1800 beater, right? I think Mountain increases it by 300 attacks. So 1800 beater that comes back at the end of the turn if it gets destroyed. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yo, this, this pack pull has been so much better than the last one. Infinitely better than the last one. We got the Black Pendant. Check this out. We got the Black Pendant. Oh, come on. We got... I don't get it. If I put it on Do Not Disturb, why am I getting notifications? I gotta look this up before, before the next one. And I got Stamping Dragon Feet. Is that two Ultras in one 30-pack session? I believe it is. Ooh, and then a Super as well. I will take it. I will take it. I mean, the longer we go, the more like the more packs we pull. Like, our next co-packs are gonna be complete flames. Because, look, we have 25... 25 really good cards left. Super Rares and Ultra Rares. Uh, so, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll finish that box up, I think, before we reset it. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and let's get out of here. And let's let's build that deck I was talking about. Let's build Yami Yugi, a brand new deck. You guys can see uh, exactly what I'm doing. I love doing stuff live for you guys. I mean, in the future, I might not always build it live, and I'll just kind of go over the decks that I'm using. But because this is Yugi, I'm going to build, like, the typical Spellcaster deck. What I like to do 
right off the bat because in this game your your rarest cards are usually your best cards so i like to go ahead and just to the filter by ultra rare first uh, and grab anything that i think will work out i think that the double costumes will work because that is uh if we put dark magicians in here and it's a 1700 beater i don't see why not i really like this card i don't know why i wasn't running it really good trap this is an incredible trap uh, just so you guys see what it is it's basically when a monster on your side of the field destroyed at any time no ultimate when a monster steps from the field to the graveyard so tribute pop like it's such a good card if i get two of those i definitely run two this lets you no summon this monster as a normal monster it still takes up a spell uh magic spell spot but i think it's really good i think it's really really good let's see what else we can run in here half shut is i really do like half shut sometimes i feel like it, it's falling a little bit short of me wanting to actually put it in I'm gonna go ahead and definitely run the Dark Magician Girl. Because we're gonna make this like kind of themed. We're gonna do like the Yugi theme. We'll go with three tributes total. Three tributes total. I love running the uh, the Shard of Greed. We'll probably run these Jerry Beans Men regardless. I wouldn't mind doing Dark, Mag Dark Magic Attack, but it's a little bit too situational. I will run one spell, one Magician Circle, which lets you win a spellcaster makes an attack. You can spe both players special summon a spellcaster from their deck, which is fine. Which is fine by me. I don't care if my opponent gets one, so I'm getting one. I love to run Bazoo in every deck because Bazoo, the Soul Eater, is just so good. You can remove monsters from your graveyard to increase his attack by 300. So it's really, really good. Uh, but that looks like all the super... I, I, I need to get one removal. This is Twister. Pay 100 life points to target one face-up spell or trap card on the field. So you can get rid of a face-up, which is pretty nice when people have continuous garbage, like the Banner of Courage. Uh, but I think that's it for all the ultra rare. So what I usually like to do now is I go sort by high attack, and then I put just monsters. And since I'm making the theme, I'm going to look for spellcasters, if there's any spellcasters that are worth putting in. The only one that I really think is worth, unfortunately, is uh, our 1600, because it becomes 1800 <coughs> with Yugi's powers. You guys see, I'm going to sense. I'm gonna set his skill to power of dark. Power of dark, you start with Yami on the field, so... Uh, all fiends and spellcasters do really well. In fact, I'm going to add fiend to this to this filter right now and see if there's any fiends that are worth it. I'm looking for four stars of 1,600 minimum. Uh, this magician's not bad. Do I have any wind creatures in the deck yet? I do have one wind. So there's some synergy there. I'm going to go ahead and throw her in there. And I may put element soldier in here as well. Because we do have an earth creature to synergize with. Uh, one, two, three, six, nine, ten. Right now, ten creatures. Ten monsters. I don't know why I'm calling them creatures. Ten monsters uh, that we currently have. And I don't think there's really... I think I'm just going to rock out with Jerry Beans, man. As much as I want more... As much as I want more spellcasters to trigger Spellbinding Circle, I need at least one more spellcaster, actually. We can go with you with your 1450, you go to 1650, but you're better off just going with uh, the Stern Mystic. Let's go with the Stern Mystic, and then let's go ahead, delete our filters, go just the monster, and let's throw these Jerry Beans Man in here, because Jerry Beans Man is too good not to have in there. Like, let's add both of those, and I think right now, the one thing we should try to add is maybe another spell card. Uh, this is generally what my decks look like, as far as uh, just, just the way they look. I don't mind stray lands because you can still you can special summon your dark magician in defense position after playing that card. It's like a free dark magician, but it can also lock up your board a little bit. Mm. I, could, I could go with another equip spell. I think I am going to go with another equip spell. Let's try that. Okay, so we have uh, a total of thirteen creatures. Only one way to draw do draw power. Actually, looking at this deck, because it's running two dark magician, two jerry beans man, and one ryu ryu shin, ryu shin powered. I'm gonna run a common charity. Common charity is a really good card, in my opinion. Uh, it lets you it lets you banish a normal type monster from your hand and go ahead and draw two. So it lets you get through your deck a little bit faster. I think I, I might actually take out the spell by uh, the magician circle. As much as I love just getting a free spellcaster, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Let's try this deck out. Let's give this let's give this deck a whirl on the PvP ladder. I have not played any PvP since the ladder reset. So this, I think I'll be silver one, and we'll just get the first one at silver one. Let's do it right now. Let's find someone. Luckily, like, the dueling is so fast. Like, you find someone immediately. Everyone's playing this game right now. Everyone is playing this game. If you ever like Yu-Gi-Oh, they're playing it. Yami Yugi versus Yami Yugi. It's Yami for Raw versus Shady Penguin with a pup. Let's get it. We're getting a dog soon. I have no water. I'm crying. I'm 
time build second. And I didn't show you guys this before, but you can actually change the view of the duels. Oops, no, that's my that's my key to victory. You can change the view of the duel by clicking this little camera button on your turn. I'll show you in a second. Once it's my turn. But I prefer this way, it seems a little bit easier to control. <laughs> So we have double cost in. We have a trap. This is a pretty good opening hand, actually. I'm not mad about this. Alright. I'm not upset about this. Is that the end of your turn? Oh, he's going to see the monster. Alright. Alrighty. At 1900. See, because we both had Yami on the field. Oh, That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Alright, luckily we have common charity, so we're going to use Jerry Bean's man to draw cards. Let's go ahead and set this. I think I'm going to crash with my stern mystic. I'm going to do it. If you were a 1600 spellcaster, we would have been set. We would have been set. Did I end up putting half shut in here? I don't think I did. I think I'd prefer to put half shut in here. It's all good. It is all good. Let's go ahead and enter the battle phase. And we can just... I'm just going to crash. I don't want to leave that out there for him to get a Dark Magician Girl on the field, because if he gets a Dark Magician Girl, it's 2400 meter. Way too good in the mirror match. Way too good. So we'll crash. We have a trap card. We have a couple trap cards we can activate. I kind of want to wait to see if he tries to pop them with anything, but we'll see what happens. Yo. For real, though, this game is... Like a championship t-shirt made for the losing team... Let's make this ad like it never even happened. Strawberry, which is a really good card. Really, really good card. I'm going to go ahead and activate. This is only during the main phase. Once per turn, when your opponent normal summon their special ones, a monster target one of those. Ah, uh, so he can run He can run right over. He can run right over my trap if I special summon it, I believe. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, we have to banish Jerry Beans, man. I hate drawing Dark Magician Girl so much. Spot. He's going to get a solid attack off. I can't summon that because I don't end up taking 2,000. Well, 2,000 points damage, but I'll lose my monster. I don't want to just lose that just yet. I don't want to do that just yet. All right, just take it. What is your face down that it's like giving you time to activate it? Is it reinforcements? No. Yeah, it could be reinforcements. Reinforcements of the army increase the attack attack of one monster your side of the field or all your monsters by 500. I'm not sure if it's all or if it's one. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That is a perfect top deck right there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll set this. We'll set our double cost in just in case he doesn't have the Dark Magician Girl to, uh, to tribute summon for with that Notorious Strawberry. Because right now the Strawberry can't get over me. It cannot get over me. My turn is done. My turn is done. My turn. He's got a card in his extra deck as well, which makes me a little afraid because it could be the combo that I was using with my spellcaster, Black Meteor Dragon. Definitely terrifying. I could have run that in this deck, actually. That wouldn't be bad to run in this deck because it is a spellcaster. It's weak, but you flip it up, you trip it a monster, you can special summon a fusion monster from your deck until the end of the turn, which is amazing because it can, it can like, really just be a one turn, one, a one turn KO. I mean, Oko. Okay. Like, who are you setting? Big Shield Gardener? Wait, Big Shield Gardener doesn't cost a tribute. Who is that? What is this? Banner of Courage, but you're not attacking with anyone. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna save my double cost. 
Austin, so I'm going to activate my trap. Because I want to get an extra special summon right now. Embodiment of, an, of Apophis. Apophis? We'll go into attack position. I don't know what that could be face down. I mean, it could be Dark Magician Girl, which in which case we can run over it next turn. We can run over it next turn. Like I said, see this trap? It still takes up a, a spell and spell and magic zone, which kind of sucks. Especially if I draw a shard of greed. It's not good. It is not good. Because we're gonna we're gonna be locked down at that point. I mean, Mr. Zor, if, if, if I ever, I mean, honestly, I actually think I win next turn. Now that I'm thinking about it, depending on what that face down is. Because once I tribute, no, because it's not gonna count as a monster. It depends. If I decide to tribute my. I'm not going to tribute that. Let's tribute our trap card. I don't think I'll be able to activate Mr. Zor. I don't think so. No. All right, that would have been too good. Would have been too good. So if that's a Dark Vision girl, it'll have 2100 defense and we can run over it. Easy mode. I think my opponent's panicking. Oh, he's panicking. He is panicking right now. We're double costing 1700 beater. Let's find out what this is. Very curious. One tribute. One tribute. It's gonna be. Oh, well, we gotta wait. Oh, it's gonna. I forgot we're silver one, boys. We're in the silver one ranks. I'm used to gold. I'm used to gold right now. But I guess not. I guess not. Let's go ahead and end our turn because this is this is done. This is over. What are you pop? I'm drawing, I'm top decking Dark Magician for game. Oh no, what is this? Common Charity. I mean, I don't blame you. Uh, you should have waited until you drew. Unless you already have a normal type in your hand. If you, if you end up discarding your whole hand, then you can play Portal Light. Nope. Alright, he had the normal type. Was that Red Eyes Black Dragon? Yeah, it was. Woo! I'm trying to play with Red Eyes. I mean, oh, instead of dark, two Dark Magicians, I could put a um, Barrel Dragon in here. I win, he forfeits! Let's freaking get it! I kind of want to do one more with this deck. I kind of want to do one more. I think a Barrel Dragon will do really well. A barrel Dragon would do really, really, really well. But, um, look at this. Silver 1. I'll show you guys. We'll rank up the Silver 2 today. Uh, you need to win, like, two in a row. Let's get it. Matching successful immediately. Immediately, that man. It's gonna be again, Yami. Yeah, it's a different, a different player. It's Zalta 25. Win and you'll get a rank up. So let's win. Let's win right now. I'm going first. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. My key to victory. Is it now? Are you have, you don't even have. Oh, he doesn't even have it. It's. Do we have a double cost and end our position in hand? Yeah. It's over. It's over. I will summon it face up. I have no fears. I have. I'm fearless. They call me Taylor Swift. Imagine if they really did. Happy down. Let's see what you're gonna do. Draw a card. Yep. Draw your last pathetic card. The Kaiba sounds more like draw your last pathetic card, you this card, face card. I sent this card. Face card. My grandfather's deck has no pathetic cards. Yo, if he be Exodia's me right now, and it's not even in the game, I'll be a little salty. Alright, now I'm scared. Three face downs? That's terrifying. It seems like he might be running that trap deck that, uh, it's like Tragedy and Curse of Anubis that it focuses on. Basically, it switches your opponent's, uh, monsters into attack position. Ooh, that's a pretty good, dude. pretty good draw. I'm not gonna summon Dark Magician yet because I am terrified. I am gonna summon, summon Jerry Beans, man. But I'm trying to decide what we're at. It could be, he could have the arm that'll grab one of my monsters and force me to attack it. Either way, that results in one of my monsters getting destroyed. I guess let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Let's just tackle double cost it. Maybe he's just got a ja maybe he just has javelins. He could just have javelins. No, no javelins. What? What did you set? Refuse to lose. No, you don't refuse to lose. I should have tribute summoned. I should have got my dark magician on the field so he has some cool animation. Hopefully he doesn't forfeit. Don't forfeit. Don't forfeit. Just let me get let me summon my dark magician. Listen, Yami, you you are me and I am you. Let me summon this dark magician. No, I don't 
lead to the night. See how niggas turn? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're doing it. The magician circle. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. Dark magician. Dark magician, hit the field. Hit the field. Use it as two tributes. Double cost is effect. Any dark type monster. Dark magician! Oh, there it is. Show me, show us, show us the animation. Crispy! Look at this! People sleep. People sleep. Come on, Dark Magician, end it. End it! Alright, that was pretty easy. Like I said, Silver, Silver, I mean, I've been playing the game for two or three weeks now. Whatever it came out. Fantastic duel. It's and uh my cards are definitely more gold. I can't wait till we get to gold and you guys can see some pretty because there's there's some really close duels in gold. Someone just said great duel. Is that me and you? No, I don't think it was Jake. It wasn't Jake. Someone's asking us to check out their YouTube channel. Ravs Gaming. I want to say check out mine. Hey, check my channel out too. Put two. Put two. Winky face. Because I am winking. All right, so that's going to be it in this video. Uh, let me know what character you want to see me build the deck for next. And if you want it to be themed on that character, uh, we're ranked two. So let's get it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see some more dueling, I love you so much. I'm going to get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it. dog, Bogart has lost so much weight, and he has so much more energy. It's like a puppy again. What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here, bringing you another episode of Duel Links Yu-Gi-Oh! My favorite mobile game right now. Today, I should be able to do... Uh, I was hoping I'd turn it on. I turned it on yesterday, the game, I, I mean, and I said, hey, let me turn this off, because Pegasus was right there. So I was like, hey, let me turn this off so I can do the whole Pegasus event with the channel. Unfortunately, it looks like that's not going to be the case today. Uh, I'm going to be super bummed. I'm going to be super bummed if I can't do the Pegasus event with you guys right now. I mean, even, even if I, I guess I get to miss the entire intro of Pegasus, I was going to do his voice. It was going to be a grand time, but I guess not. Let's just check the gate and see if he's at the gate. Is he at the gate? Please be at the gate. He should be all the way at the back, I guess. No? Oh, tell me I already missed the entire Pegasus event. Or tell me that it's that, that, that there's issues with it. Let's check the messages. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Tomb World Temporary suspended again. No. No. Oh, my goodness. Access has been limited since 124. Until the Circle Lord edition of the following campaign. I'm Temporary suspended. Welcome to Tomb World. We offer our sincere apologies. We are currently working on managing the server overload. Ah. Uh, Man, I was hoping today would be the day I got to record. I should have just done it. As soon as I saw Pegasus, I should have just done it and recorded it. Oh, well, you know what? Today, we can still do some stuff. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see what new stuff is available here that I don't have. It said new. I said new. Uh, I guess just that new super rare is right there. It's, it's, I mean, it's technically new. Let's see what we can get. Can we get any tradable? I don't want Thunder Dragons, although the memories with Thunder Dragons is too strong. Let's go right to it. Let's just... We like to purchase, like I said, I suggest you guys do this daily. You purchase the cards you can. If they don't cost any of your rare items, your, your super rares and your rare orbs, then and, then I just just buy them. Just buy them. Even if you might think they'll be bad now, who knows what they're going to release with this game in the future. It only costs some gold. Gold is almost limitless. Almost the most... I, this means I could have been playing all day yesterday. I purposely didn't play until today so I could record the event. So now I'm a day behind on my grind. No, we already have three. Don't buy any of those. We already have three. Oh, well, let's see Let's see what we got. What missions can we do? We got special missions. It's a total of 50 cards. That's fine. Uh, we are on stage. We just did, did play as Weevil Underwood and win one duel against Rex Raptor at level 30 in Duel. All right, so you know what? Let's, let's do that today. But first, let's play two PvP matches. We're just going to kind of hang out for today's episode. We're going to be using that same deck that I built last time. Now I can build some new decks off screen since I know I can play the game today. Tonight when I'm relaxing with the shady lady, we can we can just we are on our mobile devices talking. I can go ahead and do this my pu the puppy right down there. We're getting a puppy soon, hopefully. 
Uh, so let's play two of these games. Let's see if we can get a rank up in today's episode. And then we'll go ahead, we'll uh, we'll build a Weevil Underwood deck. Maybe we'll try to theme it out. Maybe we have some enough bugs and plants uh, to do the darn thing. We'll find out in a little bit. If you are a true Our hand looks pretty crispy. We do have this Shard of Greed, so we have draw power waiting on deck. I think I'm actually going first. I am. So we'll play our Shard of Greed right away. Uh, and I think I'm going to drop the... I'm just going to play the Stern Magician in defense position. Uh, hashtag bars. I know it's going to get popped. I'm pretty positive, but I don't want to just drop this. Ah, you know what? I could have dropped that in defense position. Because it's going to be a 2,000 defense monster thanks to the double Yumis on the, uh, Yamis on the field. Thanks to the, there's, there's actually four Yamis on the If you think about it, there's four Yamis on the field. Let's, let's not get technical today, boys. And in case you only watch Duel Links in the channel, I've been wearing these glasses now for a couple uh, days. My eyes need uh, a little bit of a break from all the strain, so these gunners are supposed to help. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to listen to what the internet slash the doctors tell me to do. So all I did was play three face downs. He played three face downs. So what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to try to break through some of these face downs. Let's go ahead and flip summon. Oh, it's activating. Oh, now I get to see all those cards. That's right. Yes. Show me your tricks. What did he use? Jar of Greed. Okay. All right. He's going to use Jar of Greed. That's a fine card. That's a fine card. Let you draw one. What, what is this? Conscription. Excavate. Okay. That's the one that lets you do the top. And this you can send cards from your hand. Okay. All right. And he has the vermin. Uh, I don't like the vermin. Right. At least we know it's the vermin, though. He's gonna start thinning his deck real good. That's okay though. But we could just we could just pop these vermins. Let's just pop them. It's better for us to pop pop two of them because if he can go ahead and okay he's gonna do this right now. Please be a magic card. Please be a magic card. Please be a magic card. This is why I should be my right now so I can know what's gonna happen. I can know what's gonna happen. Ah, that's a drag. That's a drag. That's such a good card. All right. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pop this. We're gonna pop this Karibo real quick, and I'm gonna pop his vermin. And what I was gonna say is, we can get through all three vermin. That's great because then he can't do a uh, seven star tribute, eight star tribute next turn. But now he'll be able to. Uh, I just realized you guys want me to turn the voices off. I think some of you do, some of you don't. I'm gonna leave them on for now. I kind of, I know that they get a little annoying. I understand that, but I'm, I'm talking too. So you know what? They, Nick, they try to talk over me, so that maybe I will turn them off. We'll turn them off. We'll turn them off. He's gonna set that card face down that he just drew. So maybe he doesn't have like a dark magician or a blue eyes to summon. That would be fantastic if he doesn't. He's gonna uh, he's gonna get balloon monsters. I don't like balloon monsters. Wonder balloons, you discard a card. You can discard as many cards as you want. And for each card you discard, you put a token on that magic card. My monster's attacks, my monster's attack will decrease by 300 points for each card for each counter on that. So now I have a 1300 beater and a 1400 beater. That's okay though, because all he has is a vermin on the field. Wait, he did have a dark magician in hand. He misplayed. Unless he doesn't have another vermin in deck, we'll find out in a second. Oh, element magician coming through clutch. I should have activated Shard of Greed first. That's my fault. That's a misplay. Always draw before you do your turn, if you can. Always choose to draw. So right there, I, instead, I could have actually just gotten Dark Magician Girl out of my deck. But I think that this is actually going to be better, so I'll get an extra attack in. The Element Magician says that when there's a Wind-type monster on the field, I can go ahead and attack twice once I destroy a monster. So as long as this is the Vermin, which I think it is, bam, let's see. I'm going to activate it. Of course I'm going to activate it. Are you kidding me? Okay, he doesn't have another Vermin in deck, so he didn't misplay. He didn't misplay, it's just that, you know what? That card that lets you, that trap card that he used to summon the Karibo from my deck onto his side of the field, that card is really, really good. My One time my opponent used that and got a Dark Magician from my deck, and I lost. I literally could not do anything. I lost immediately. Uh, it was pretty rough. But I think we're going to snag a perfect W here. Even with that balloon, even with that balloon, we got him on the ropes. Mm. He's got the Enchanted Javelin. So we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet, but that's okay. We're really close to victory. Oh! Oh! Says Yami Yugi. My sir. I wish I could get his voice on deck, but I can't. Dark magician! Dark magic attack! I can't do it. He's like, he's got such a unique... I, in my cards. I still believe in my cards. I draw! Maybe I can get close to it. I gotta practice. I'll practice off screen. I'll just annoy my wife and just constantly try to sound like Yami Yugi. No regrets. I have no regrets. 
It's how you play the game. It's how you play the game. This was a great duel. Don't lie to his face, Yugi. He's just lying. You're just lying to yourself because it's yourself. If it was freaking Kaiba, you'd tell him, hey man, you're scum. You're actual scum. Alright. Do you know Hobby Lobby has hundreds of incredible products on sale every single week? Just check out our weekly ad to discover unbelievable savings across the store and start shopping in-store or online at HobbyLobby.com today. yours. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we win one more. We'll go to silver rank three, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure. I may end up climbing the ladder off screen at some points, like in my lounging time. I may just go ahead and, uh, unless you guys want to see my whole entire progress up to platinum, in which case I'll try to record all of it. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, just use that, use, leave a comment and use the hashtag ranked if you want to see every single duel. If you don't care, just do hashtag some ranked, and we're good to go. Because then I can climb up to gold off screen, and we can have some pretty powerful matches. Some pretty powerful matches. Look at this. Double Jerry Beans, man. Two traps. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with this setup. And if we could draw, like, Shard of Greed, that'd be fantastic. If we can draw a Shard of Greed, that would be fan-freaking-tastic. I don't think my opponent's happy with their hand. You can emote, by the way, if you click on the face... Assemble all the pieces for victory, aka Exodia. You can emote, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of people know about that, thankfully, uh, because I guess like it would become like the Hearthstone trigger where someone emotes you, like well played when you like literally just got the most unlucky possible thing. Right. He's gonna summon an attack position. Ooh, Notoria Guardian. I don't see. I can't run that over now. Okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna punish this play. We're gonna punish this play so hard. Are you ready? Watch the bait. Watch the bait, my friends. Hopefully, we can draw a different monster to bait out, though, instead of Jerry Beans Man. See, this is this is what is really scary about Duel Links, in my opinion. So, a little tip for if you a tip if you're if you're like card games and, you, and you're not like you can't figure out like I don't know the, the basic basic thing you want to do. Uh, I'd, I'd rather sacrifice Jerry Beans Man. Uh, you you want to. Go plus. So, for example, my opponent has Notoria Guardian on the field. If I can use two monster, two cards, to get rid of the Notoria Guardian plus his Gravity Axe equipped, that's a great turn for me because it's neutral. An even better turn would be if he dropped another equip on that Notoria Guardian. And then I was able to use two cards, uh, destroying my Jerry Beans Man and then using Mishizuru. Mishizor. I don't know how to pronounce it. Your turn is done. Doesn't even doesn't even want to. Oh my gosh. Alright. I understand that. Uh, that was a really good, that was a really solid play. That was a really solid play. Uh, I think I'm just gonna summon. I have to make him. I have to tempt him. I'm gonna tempt him. Because I can't let him keep drawing to draw new monsters. I can't attack him, I understand that. But I'm gonna end my turn right there. Hopefully he'll attack. I'll take 350 life points and I can use Mishizor. It's a pretty obvious bait, but it's all I can do right now. I'm not going to... I guess it would have been the same if I just attacked him. It's still the same. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll have to attack him next turn. I should have just attacked him. That's my fault. It doesn't matter whether he declares the attack or I declare the attack. Either way, this helps me out because now I can actually flip some of my other Jerry Beans, man. What are you using? Meteor Rain? What does that do? During this turn when you're a monster's... Oh, no. He's going for my Jerry Beans man. Let's do this. He wants to do 2100? Are you kidding me? Nah. I cannot afford to lose. That's brutal. But we'll activate this. We'll still be fine. There's no main phase two. He didn't summon. He didn't set any other traps. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Of course he will destroy the Guardian. Get the Guardian out of here. That's why I want two of these. Two Mishizoras. It's 100%. It's an incredible card. It's not plus by any means, but... It, it, it's technically usually minus one if they don't have an equip on their monster. But I still think it's better. This is a 2,000 beater right now. We're going to drop this 2,000 beater. Oh, it's 1,800 beater. I, I, I pretend that we always have two Yamis in the field. Uh, I, 
And just so you guys know, you can also change the view by hitting this camera. You guys can see now there's a little now there's little holograms, which look really, really cool. It makes the game a little bit harder to play, in my opinion, this this view. Please rock out with it. This is this is for show. What am I doing? It's not about how hard the game is for me to play. This is for you guys to have some beautiful content to look at and listen to. Oh, that part's not beautiful, we know that. But this actually does look pretty dope. He still believes in his cards. Just so you know, he's, he still has faith. I've got faith to believe. I don't think you should, man. I don't think you should, man. You should have zero faith. You should actually turn into the faithless magician. from the discard pile. There we go! We're silver three, boys. We did it. We are silver three, boys. We gosh diggity darn. We did it. So what I'm going to do before, before, I was going to get some hate on this, before we make the Weevil deck, let's buy some packs. Oh man, it's been a few days, boys. It has been a few days, my friends. Now, let's, in regards to trying to build a Weevil deck, let's see which pack would be better. We're looking for plants, and we're looking for insects. So this insect's not good. So don't, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't, I don't really want that card. This one, as long as the creature's in the field, increase the attack of all wind monsters uh, by 500. So this is actually an 1100 beater, which is not good by any stretch, but it helps other wind creatures out, which is good. I don't think this pack looks good for Weevil, which is great because I'd rather continue buying Neo Impact. I wonder when they're going to release a new pack. Uh, I'd rather just continue this. This has Notoria Strawberry. This has Notoria Dragonfly. We already have enough of those. Uh, does this also have Notoria Guardian? I'm hoping this also has Notoria Guardian. This has another plant. I don't see... What pack is Notoria Guardian in? I think it's in the middle one. Which sucks, because I think we only have one of them so far. Yeah, Notoria Guardian. I think I've only pulled one. We are going to have to buy more of these packs soon. Shoot, I really don't want to. I was going to build a good water deck. I mean, I guess I will eventually, so it's not bad. But I'm not going to buy 30 of those packs. There's literally no way. There's literally no... I mean, there's only 48 packs left in the box. We're going to go with these. We're going to pop out one of these $30 purchases. Thank you guys for supporting the content. This is why I'm doing this. It's because it's for the content. It's for you guys to see. And let's get it. So what we're really hunting right now is Senju. Uh, Senju would be great. I'd love to pull another Senju so we can build a ritual deck. Uh, in a couple of days and showcase that. Maybe maybe Kaibo will rock out with a ritual deck. Who knows? I did off-screen pull another Gallandolf. I pulled that and I pulled another Super Rare. I gotta show you guys in a second. I gotta show you guys. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're getting any Ultras or any Supers in our first four packs. Nothing in our first four packs. Oh my goodness. Oh, two-man cell battle. This card is interesting. During each player's end phase, the turn player may special summon one... I, I mean, decks, if you can make a good normal monster deck only. I love that deck. Vanilla, vanilla is my favorite flavor of ice cream. See, common charity right there, more vanilla. More vanilla. Maybe we'll make a vanilla deck at some point. But I don't know who would, what person in this game, what character, uh, avatar even is probably a better word for that, would be best with just a vanilla beatdown deck. Because honestly, they're always subpar, unfortunately. There's another fusion weapon. You guys let me know when I answered in the comments. This is a fusion weapon. It's not a virtual weapon. They're completely different. But they're the same. Here we go. Here we go! Come on. Come on. Phantom Cricket. Anti-aircraft flower and... We got the Kaiser! We got Kaiba! Kaiba with the sea serpents. Actually, this is even good in a Yami... In a, in a, in a Mako deck, dude. With a sea serpent? It's a 1900 beater. Let's go. Oh, some of you guys hate that I use the word beater. 1900 attack. Ooh, it's glowing. What does that mean? It's not an ultra rare glow, I don't think. It's a... Oh, well, I have no idea why you were glowing. I have no idea why you were glowing. You did not deserve to glow. You did not deserve to glow. Ooh, machine. We can do machines with bandit Keith. Machines with bandit Keith. I don't know what we're gonna do. There's another machine king. Come on. We got three crew. Oh. You got a bitch bottom dollar. We're getting a second ultra rare. Are we really? Yo, is it gonna be Senju? Show me Senju. 
No, it's Jin Desir of Rituals, which I don't mind. I think this card has possibilities because it's just it's so clutch. Mishizura can't lay, lo, lo, can't work. It's just the problem. Like I was saying before, ooh, 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 card advantage is tough with ritual monsters. You have to use a magic card. You have to use at least one other monster and then the ritual monster. It costs three for one. And if that card gets yes, we got the mirror wall. Let's go. Oh my goodness, this card is so good in this game. Let's get it. Oh my goodness. Each of your opponent's monsters that conducted an attack while this card was facing on the field has its attack have as long as this card means it facing on the field. You don't really spend the 2,000 life points. It's really just for those clutch turns when you want to tribute summon next turn. It's great. It's a great card. Oh, baby, we got it. We pulled it. We absolutely destroyed it. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, so these seem to be the best 30 packs that we've pulled on the channel so far. They just get better and better. There's another Naturia Dragonfly. See, I might end up making it a Naturia deck, but I have to, I might use my gems to get some more Guardians. We'll check how many Guardians we have. Because the Guardian is really, really good. We got a double rare that pack. Okay, okay, shoot me in the foot. And we got a single rare, that's fine, that's fine. We're almost done with the set. It's good, like, because, like, once, you, once you're done with the set, then you just gotta wait till new packs come out. You build the decks you can. You climb the ladder. That's what this game's about, in my opinion. You complete missions. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to get to stage 35. Uh, over the weekend so that way on monday if i record more for you guys uh we'll go ahead and and be you know a little bit in advance because right now we've been level 30th oh are we serious is this gonna be the third ultra it's a super yo sasuke or i used to call him sasuke sasuke samurai because it's spelled like sasuke i used to call him sasuke i don't know what i used to call him as a kid whatever at the start of the damage set, this card attacks a face down defense position monster destroy that face down monster there's a bunch of cards that this can synergize with uh, that, that force your opponent to go face down. Oh my god, I love this card. That, oh, that was one of my favorite cards growing up. Oh my goodness. So cool to be seeing it again. Like, in an actual... I don't want to say competitive environment, I don't know if that card's necessarily competitive, but... I mean, I would hope that most of the cards they put in this game, they will eventually build, like, little archetypes for it. Because they have a chance to do Yu-Gi-Oh! right. Like old school Yu-Gi-Oh! right, which I think they're doing perfect. I love that it's 3v3, 4,000 life points. I think it's incredible. It might be my, it might be my favorite iteration of Yu-Gi-Oh! ever. Here we go. Here we go. What a pod. But we already got them all, so what is that trap card? Arcane and Magician Circle. We now have three of these bad boys, so we're done. I don't think I'd ever run more than two, honestly, but we are done. Fairy King Truesdale, this is going to be the bread and butter of the Weevil deck. Uh, to, well, to buff those plants... 100% Dragon Seeker. I don't like you, Dragon Seeker. All right, so that's all 30 packs. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. I mean, we got we got Mirror Wall and we got Sasuke Samurai for our new cards. Uh, we got a couple. Oh, and we also and we got this super rare. We got the Jin, which is going to be great in decks. So let's let's go ahead. Let's build. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a Weevil deck, just because we have to do that anyway we have to do it anyway we might as well go for it i don't know weevil's abilities honestly so i'll check them out real quick with you guys uh skill draw can be used each time your life points is increased by in order to draw face instead of doing that draw a random monster level four or lower i don't like that i really don't like that what is this can be used if there are three or more insect type monsters on your field lowers attack of all face up monsters in your opponent's field by 800 points okay you know what let's try it Let's see if we can ever get that cheekiness off. I don't know if we can ever get it off in PvP, but we can at least... We should be at least able to get it off while we try to complete this this set. I mean, this uh, this mission. So let's go ahead. Let's filter our monsters. Let's only look for insects. No, not Beast Warrior. Insect and plants. I want, like, the whole deck to be insect and plants, honestly. How many Naturia Guardians do we have? Let's check it out. We have one. I knew we only had one. That sucks. This card is so good in a plant deck. I might have to buy some of those packs with gems and see if we can pull them. We can hunt down the guardians. Strawberries are great. We can add three strawberries. Uh, this is an insect, which, see, if we have, if we can go ahead and actually get two more guardians, I'm going to try it right now. Uh, save. Let's save it real quick. We'll have to edit it. If I can get three more guardians, if I can get three more guardians, that would be fantastic. I mean, two of them, there, there's what? There's four? There's only, there's only... 96 commons left. So if we use our gems and we buy 10 packs. Let's do it. 
Alright, let's do it. Let's see if we can get ourselves... Uh, there's a Fairy Guardian, Crash Phantom, and Sangha of the Thunder. Sometimes I like to like the Sangha of the Thunder, run the Sangha of the Thunder in my Kaiba deck. Just because, even though it doesn't get the Dragon buff, it's the Light type that the Serpent can get tributed for, which I really, really like. Dawn Turtle, Sea Lord's Amulet, and Numinous Healer. Can we please get the Guardian? Please don't waste my time. Give me the Guardian. Oh, I don't want the Reliable Guardian. I want Notoria Guardian. Please? Second card? Nope. Ah. All right, here we go. We got triples. We got triples. Show me Notoria Guardian. Starboy, Grass Phantom, and Big Wave Small Wave. Big Wave Small Wave is a really good card if you're building the water deck. So I'm not mad. I think I have three of them now. Bubonic Vermin, Blizzard Warrior, and Song of the Thunder. Just give me Notoria Guardian. Are you serious? Yes! All right, we got one more. That's at least... That's at least something. That's at least something. I would love to get another one. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, but we might be getting something else. We're hunting guardians. Well, let's see. Overwhelm, Aquamira Force. And we got the ultra rare. Le Le Levi Dragon or Levi Dragon. You can send one face at you. You control in the field. Destroy all other cards on the field. That's, that's insane, yo. Jeez, and that was the 10th pack. That was the 10th pack. I mean, now this box is almost worth resetting. All, there are only five super rares left. There's only five super rares left. I probably won't because if I do want to get um, the important water cards, like Yomi Ship is a really good water card. Needle Sunfish really isn't that bad. Uh, and Moray of Greed is pretty good. Well, it's, it's not really crazy good, actually. Because like, at first when I saw this card, I thought it was Shuffle to Water Monsters from your discard pile into your deck. It's like, wow, that's broken. How do they do this? Cost Down is a really good card, though. So we won't reset this box. I might end up just buying out this box uh, in another episode. But for now, we have a second Guardian. We have a second Guardian, and this episode is running pretty darn long. Oh. You get the chance to build your knowledge. It's a good company to work for because you can learn all different departments. So even if you want to move on somewhere else, you have the experience. Lots to do? Grab a payday and demolish your hunger. My first metal poster? I got it for my birthday. And soon, bam! I filled this whole place with this place. They're really crushing it with all this new gaming art, so you get the picture. Now every time someone drops by, they ask, is it really metal? Can I touch it? And I'm like, sure thing. It's a display. Display metal posters. Shop now at display.com. Hope you guys don't mind that. Uh, let's go ahead and edit this deck. We gotta do that filter again. It's gonna be uh, just show me plants and insects. We're gonna add another guardian in here. So we have two of those. I think I will run the dragonflies. We'll run two dragonflies. Because that's going to be... This dragonfly now has... We have three, five... We have five other Naturia monsters besides the dragonflies. And this gains 200 attack for each one in the graveyard. So we can figure it out. It might be a little bit too slow, but maybe if we make the d deck a bit more defensive... We can always do that. Yo, Jerry Beans, man, get in there. If we can get a third one of you, then this deck is flames. We definitely need a third one of you uh, if we want this deck to be super super competitive. This isn't going to be the best version of this deck, for sure, but it's still, it's going to be nice. But you're beating one insect monster to the field, uh, inflict 800 points of damage. So I like this card. I like that card mainly because uh, it will get buffed. It will get buffed by Truesdale. I might actually add in a third Truesdale. I don't know, three Truesdales, like, it's... I mean, they're only one card. You know what? We will. They're only one card tributes. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else I want to do. This. So I've seen a really crazy deck in PvP where you use three of these. So I should definitely try to get three of these and make the deck for you. But basically, use this. And there's another card that says like your opponent chooses a plant monster from your deck and adds it and puts it on top of their deck. So guarantees that they draw it. They take a thousand life points. That's craziness, dude. I'm actually just gonna search for the search for the word plant. Really quick, take off our filters uh, and see what we get. 
so I don't know why that's coming up. Oh, because plant didn't work. Okay. Plant. Search. Uh, tribute one plant type monster, special summon two plant tokens to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. I don't see the point of that. Well, actually, I kind of do. It locks their field up, but they can tribute them. Select one face-up monster you control and send one level four plant type monster from your hand to the graveyard. During this turn, the selected monster can attack twice. Ooh. The other monster you control can declare an attack, but that's not really a big problem. While there is a plant type monster on your side of the field, this card cannot be attacked by tributing one plant type monster on your field. Destroy one spell trap card on the field. This card's actually pretty clutch. I'm actually going to run one of those. I might run two. It looks like I don't have the card that says something about plants. Hold on. What a shame. Uh, as far as creatures go, we're pretty much set, that's for sure. Uh, now we just need to go ahead and grab uh, our typical spells. We're going to go with one of you. We're going to go with the Black Pendant. We're going to go with a Tornado. I'm pretty tempted to go with to go with Stray Lambs. I think Stray Lambs would work really well in this deck, but I'm kind of running out of room. So let's just go with Mishizur, Mirror Wall, and I can't go Common Charity. I could go Regretful Rebirth in this deck, which would be pretty good because you have three Truesdales. So we're going to run that. Which basically, when a monster is destroyed, you can go ahead and summon it again. I think that's what we're going to try out for now. We'll try this out for now. Let's set our skill. Insect Uprising. Just in case we ever get it. I don't even know if we have enough insects for that. We have one, two. We only have two... We're only running two insects. It's literally impossible for us to get it then. Let's search. Let's search for insects real quick. Let's see if there's anything else we can change with this deck. Uh, let's see. Tribute one insect type monster you know out of the field. Special summon two army tokens on your side of the field. I mean, they're level. They're 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 500 attack. So like. Even if they can attack multiple times, I mean, even if I'm going to lower the, my opponent's attack by 800, I mean, then I guess I could tribute them after that fact. Eh, I don't think it's worth. Well, we won't worry about the skill. Even though the skill's not going to work with this deck, it's okay. Let's just go ahead and try and take out, I think it said we have to take out, what, Tail level 30? Rex Raptor level 30. Right, let's battle. Let's battle Rex Raptor level 30. Right now. And we can wrap this one up. Hopefully we'll be finishing a mission. Level 30. Ah! Weevil, if there's one duelist I'll never lose to, it's you! Jurassic Fusions, that sounds absolutely terrifying. Holy crap. That sounds dangerous! That sounds dangerous. Oh, man. Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. This isn't gonna be good. Ah, uh, it could be good. We got this. This is awesome. Here we go. Nice and nice and dual. What is he saying? Dinos will tear you. My dueling dinos. Oh, so that's his voice. Okay. He goes first? Are you kidding me? He's got his main card already. Oh, that would have had a cool animation. I messed up by clicking the button. Son of a gun. It's okay. Look at this. We got, we have, we have the busted, what I call the nuts. We have the nuts on deck right here. We're going to drop our mirror wall. We're even going to drop Regretful Rebirth. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. Let's go to battle phase and swing over. Rex Raptor's dragon. Or, not dragon. Well, it kind of is a dragon. It's a Rex. What does that mean? I know it's a dinosaur, but it's got wings. Dinosaurs have wings. They're pterodactyls. You're right. It's not a dragon. It's not a dragon. I don't know why. It seems like a dragon to me. Yeah, set it face down, you scumbag. Yo. This, the, Weevil, Weevil, has, Weevil has it on, on lock. Even though it's not the perfect deck. Ooh, look at this. While there's a plant monster on the field, this card cannot be attacked. I mean, I'm down to just summon this just for BP. He's got no magic or traps. This would have been perfect. If he had a magic or trap, we can get over it. Well, we can get over it next turn now. Ooh, okay. Maybe it wasn't going to do really cool animations. It's just that I think it would have. It's his main card. It's just that now that we have a hologram on, the Black Petra. The Black Terra. Pterodactyl is probably what it's supposed to be. Petra! Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him on the ropes already. This is a three-turn duel. They call me Mr. Three Turn. They used to call me Mr. Three Turn in elementary school. I don't know what happened, but it used to be Mr. Three Turn. Then all of a sudden I'm Shady Penguin Online. I don't know why. I should have just been Mr. Three Turn. Play a Magic or Trap card, please. Play a Come on, Rex. You're pathetic. You're level 30 right now. You should be better than this. Fairy King Truesdale. We can get the combos. Hold on. First, let's activate effect. Let's do it. Oh, baby. You are going to have nothing but regret. Let me see this. No, destroy the battle. Okay. Then let's, um... 
that's not really going to be a combo. Let's just finish the duel then. Actually, no, because we can go ahead and finish the duel and get a tribute summon off. <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine by me. Ooh, Fairy King Truesdale. True as blue can be. Yeah, 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 Weevil. Man, your voice definitely, definitely goes right into the ear of my soul. Battle phase. Here we go. Your AD, more like your baby, getting popped. I'm going to activate Mirror Wall just so I can get the um, dual link, the points for activating the tracks. Otherwise, I wouldn't have activated one. 2700, right to the throat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Weevil is the victor, which means you finish this mission set, which is great. I'm not normally going to do the missions on on on, uh, on deck, but I wanted to do it this time around because I had to. Look, we got an ultra rare reward. See, this is what you want. You want these ultra rare jewels? Get them. And look at this. We also got two of King Rex and uh, Survival Instinct. So two new cards. Sweet freaking beast, dude. Uh, how could a bunch of creep crawlers defeat? Yeah, see, exactly. I love it. The creep crawlers beat the dinos. I'm down to play them. Let's just claim this uh, new sleeve, which I wonder what it's going to be. And then we can claim uh, 50 gems straight up. Now we have enough to buy another 10 packs if we want to. So we can get three Notoria Guardians, potentially. Ooh, and then what kind of we got? Okay, those are our new missions. I'll check those out later on. That's going to be this. That's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really loving this Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I hope you are as well, and you're joining me on this mobile adventure. I love you so much. Don't forget the hashtag attitude. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it! presents the top plays at work, number three. Here's a snap, and it's a beautiful block. Teammates love that. And a number two. What a grab! Now watch this move. Full separation. And at number one. Looking to seal the deal. And they are Kubo Races! Make a big play at work with Canva. What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Today, as you guys can see, it's finally time for Toon World, and I'm so pumped. You guys can see that I have 16 star chips. I just did a little bit of testing, and just by dueling, I dueled Ishizu. So I didn't duel a regular... We'll just let an auto-duel happen and see how, how they do with Yu-Gi's deck. We'll, we'll let an auto-duel go against reverse trap. Reverse trap is like the deck I always lose to when I do auto-duels, so that's, this is perfect. But basically, Toon World this year, which means Pegasus is unlockable. What you need to do is you need to battle the goons in the dual world, and you'll get star chips each time you battle them. I just got like 16 star chips, which is incredible. So I'm hoping that I get that many again. I don't know what the average is or what the amount. That was literally my first duel. I just did it like 10 seconds before I started this recording. Truth is, I was recording it, but my phone was like super laggy on the recording, and I didn't want to upload crap. Uh, crap quality on that, so we're gonna see. Yeah, this is how I lose. This is 100% how I lose, always. Luckily, I got Mishizuri for once, and he doesn't play his whole hand. Otherwise, I would have been, I would have been so rude. I would have been so rude. Let's see if we can actually win for once. Uh, yeah, we can. We can actually win for once. Let's get it. The Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magic Attack, Reverse Trap. No! That's how I lose, right there. GG. I'm sure if you guys don't understand what's happening, there's an auto duel button, and you can just let yourself do it. But I want to see if I get any star chips. I might not get star chips for losing, though. Now that I think about it, this won't even be a good judge of if I get star chips or not. Anyway, you need star chips to duel Pegasus. Pegasus is at the gate. Let's see if I, get any, I don't get any star chips for losing. All right, let's try one more. What are you using? Insect multiplication? Okay, auto duel can beat insect multiplication. So you get star chips based on the duels you beat, the duels you beat, and I guess how well you perform in those duels will dictate how many star chips you get. We'll see... We'll see. I, I really wanted to, what I wanted to do in this episode today was go ahead and duel Pegasus. Uh, I don't know how many times I had to duel him to unlock him. I'm really not sure. I have to trim this part of my beard. Uh, I'm not sure how many times. Oh, see what? Okay, I'm going to turn up auto duel. I'm turning up. Uh, I turned up auto duel for a reason because whenever, yup, it already did it. Whenever it plays Black Pendant, it automatically decides that using Twister on it is a smart decision. 
Yeah, now I might as well let the duel play out. It's so ridiculous, man. I don't understand. Auto duels is hell. We deal 500 life points of damage. That's more important than having a buck 500 attack monster, I guess. Whatever. Whatever, man. Either way, we're going to see Aqua Chorus get played, uh, which I don't even really know what Aqua Chorus does. I just know that this deck runs it. I'll click it. If there are monsters with the same name on the field, increase the attack and defense of all those monsters by the same name. Ooh, 500 points. Okay. So because you play those insects, you increase their attack, etc., etc. I think this will be the game. There's the game. Exact life points. Auto Duel is fantastic when you're doing other things. That's not, I'm not going to make a habit of auto dueling on the channel. Don't get me wrong. I just wanted to see if we get star tips. Ooh, we got a nice stone of trap. We got a nice stone trap. Let's see if we get any any star chips from this. Okay, we got five five star chips. Oh, look at these bonus star chips. You get insane star chips. Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's so easy. So as you guys can see, Tomb World is hovering everywhere. You can click on it, and it shows you your rewards. 3,500 points. So you need to get 35,000 points in order to unlock Pegasus. That's what it looks like. And you also, <gasps> you do get relinquished. Relinquished is in the game. Oh my gosh. Look at all these different rewards. Wow. So, Dueling Pegasus, it's only until February 8th. It's only one week. Oh, I'm going to be grinding off screen so hard. I'm going to be grinding off screen so hard. So, let's see what happens when they go ahead to him. Yugi boy, so nice to see you. We haven't crossed paths since Duelist Kingdom. Pegasus. Now, now, no need to scowl. I'm just here to duel and have fun. Honest. Have fun, eh? I'll take your word for it. But for now, no, for now. But remember. Try anything funny and suffer the consequences. Ooh, scary. Then I shall be on my best behavior, Yugi boy. <laughs> anyway, it looks like you've collected enough star chips. Without further ado, ado, let's duel. So, you gotta keep versus Pegasus. Let's see, let's see what he has in his deck. Let's see what he has in his deck. I wanna unlock him and level him up. I wanna level him up. You're going second. Okay, I'm going second. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So this only lasts for one week, which means you gotta, you gotta go in with these star chips and you have to win every time against Pegasus if you really want to he starts with Toon World a duel might I like you to keep my he starts with Toon World I set a card I set a card Yugi boy yeah, we have Secure Karibo in hand which is great Magician Circle will be clutch is this a wind monster? no so listen to this music Oh my goodness, I love it. Let's battle him. I remember he's level 10 right now, so he's not going to be strong. He's not going to be strong at all. Uh oh. Mind Hacksaws. Pay 500 life points to your opponent's hand to set all cards. Oh, you get to see everything for 500 life points. Interesting. Huh, that's an interesting card. I play that in like Joey's deck where you start with an extra thousand. Is it a tune monster? Summon the tunes! Come on, summon the tunes. Alright, let's just end him. Let's just end him. This guy's a joke. This guy's a chump. Are you kidding me? I'm actually about to... Is this... I'm gonna do it, yo. Let's see if we can end this duel right here. Let's see if we can end this duel right here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I had Magician Circle. I could have got Dark Magician Girl out. Shoot! It's my fault. Alright, we still win anyway, but... but I should have got Dark Magician Girl out. That's the way to win. That's the way to beat Pegasus. <laughs> Pegasus goes down. Easy mode. Simple and easy. My powers are supposed to... It's not whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. Alright, so we got that easy win. Uh, I really should have gone for the trap card because I'm guessing the amount of points we get is based on also how well we do. Maybe these are just the points. 3,400? Do you think so? Do you think that's the case? Let's see. Congratulations, that was an excellent duel. Come again when you have enough starships. Okay, so it is the score you get is the amount you get. Since you're so eager to win, I must prepare a deck that will provide a worthy challenge. Okay, so I'm guessing level 10. Level 10 is times 1, level 20 is times 2, etc. You fought so well that you deserve a little something as a reward, and if you keep entertaining me as you have, I'll have plenty of more presents for you. Okay, we got 6,000 gold. Let's get it. What else did we get? What is this? Oh, it's right there. Woohoo! 6,000 gold! Let's go! Alright, so we can, let's see if we have enough starships to burst level 20. Let's see. It, costs, it only costs 10. 
<laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do them again. I want to see if we can get all the way to level 40 and during today's video and then open 30 packs again like we always do. I love doing pack opening for you guys. That was almost English. I love doing pack openings for you guys. Uh, whether they're online or real life or whatever. It's just I've always loved trading card games and opening packs is like one of my favorite parts of the game. So let's see if we can rock this guy pretty fast. This time we'll use our traps. Now that we know. Now that we know. Although we got 3,400. We still got a decent amount of, of prize from him, honestly. I wonder if there's only going to be one relinquished per person. I don't think I have any guardians in this deck, so Arsenal Summoner. There's no point in me playing Arsenal Summoner face down. I think I just have it just a 1600 spellcaster that becomes 1800 beater. I could just put a defense position actually because it's 1800 defense as well. Banner of Courage, oh, that's not good. Out of Vino Baby, all formulas moisturize to help prevent dry, itchy skin with the power of oats. Refresh the everyday with Mentos Go. Yes to fresh. Tomb World Pegasus, that's what the people want to see. Bird magician. Okay. Let's just go ahead. Let's do the most damage that we can. Let's do the most damage that we can. They should have quit it to his monster just because we feel bad. This music is so good. It's getting warmed up. Alright. So strategically, because you're spending your star chips, you should really try to do the best you can in each duel. So like activate as many traps as you can, uh, tribute summon if you can. And this is good, because I'm not, I'm not going to... Okay, let's do this. Oh, shoot! If the defense position of monster summoner bonus is 500 points less than it's at the graveyard. Wow, okay. I will activate this trap, because it's going to help, although we're not going to get a tribute summon off in this game. But that's fine. It's fine. Let's try to deal 2800. Maybe, do, maybe, maybe the 2800 will make a difference, you know? Maybe it will give us more points. Now, my assumptions are correct. We'll go ahead and get a certain amount of points and then multiply that by two. If we, get, if we multiply that by two, that'll be fantastic. It'll be a good amount. Uh, let's see how much we got. 20, only 22. See, the other one would be so much better because you tribute summon. Tribute summon is so important. Make sure you tribute summon against Pegasus. Stall until you, if you, if you have to. Uh, let's see. We get 22 times three. Oh, okay. Never mind. Times three. So this is going to be pretty easy to get all the points we need to unlock him. Never mind. We're good to go. We got the rare. We got more gold. We got ten gems. Yo, I love the fact that this game has events. I hope there's a lot more events lined up for us. Uh, now that they fixed all their server issues, uh, I really hope there's a lot more events lined up for us. Let's see if we have enough star chips. We don't. We only have 20. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's, let's be Joey Wheeler. Get your deck ready, Yugi. I almost had English there, I promise. Let's have a duel that no one will ever forget. Level 10? Are you kidding me? I wish I could auto-duel you. I wish I could auto-duel you. But I can't. But I can't. Uh, for the next video, I will have a new deck for you guys. Don't you fret. Uh, I'm working on a ritual summon deck that's going to be killer. And then my friend showed me a really cute deck last night that he found uh, online somewhere. I'm just going to credit him because I have no idea where he found it. Uh, let's go ahead and summon Jelly Beans Man. Let's hit you. And Magician Circle in case we do actually draw a spellcaster. That would be fan freaking tastic. Who are you summoning? Hey, Joey! I taught you better than this. Alright, I didn't. I unfortunately did not get a spellcaster for game. A spellcaster for game would have been nice, but I guess not. Attack. Hey, attack. I don't know why double costing was being uh, stubborn and not attacking, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Alright. Here we go. Ryukishin for game. Simple and easy. I didn't get, I didn't get to activate any traps. Well, it's not Pegasus, so it's 
fine. Behind the scenes on you get starts is based on your performance. So I guess like from here on out, guys, just make sure all your duels are top tier. Top tier dueling. Top tier dueling. Don't auto duel. Because they'll win the quickest they can. You want to do as many things as you can. Only got 2,200 points, so how many star judgment are getting? Yugi, you won this time, but I'm only going to keep going back stronger. Got the five star chips, and that's it. Just five. Well, looks like the star chip grind is real. Uh, real. Oh, and it says right there, the point multiplier is seven at this level. It's seven at this level. Are you kidding me? So it's totally worth facing at the higher levels if you can beat them consistently. If you can beat them consistently, then you got this in the bag. I'm going to do my best to unlock Maximilian Pegasus tonight so that maybe tomorrow or Friday I can upload some duels with his deck. Uh, well, I have to unlock a lot of cards. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure. This is a pretty bad opening hand. I can destroy Tomb World, but I won't just yet. I'm not going to destroy it yet because he has yet to use a card that actually goes with Tomb World. There we go. There's Tomb Mermaid. Okay, hold on. Who is he playing? Sorcerer's Spell Wall. What does this do? All monsters you control give your attack during your turn only. All monsters you gain control give you 300 minutes. What? Auto Tributes? Monster your opponent controls cannot attack to turn their summon. It's a 2300 beater. I think I just lost. I think I should. I didn't realize, uh, what's her face was getting special summoned. I should have just twisted his. I should have just twisted. That's another card. My monster attack. Oh my gosh. I'm done. Dude, I'm gonna get wrecked. Uh, it's over. I actually lose. That's the game. That's the problem. Oh, darn it, man. We just wasted 20 star chips. Chance. What can we draw? Uh, Alright, we have a chance. We have a chance. He hasn't drawn another monster yet, which is really good. He's not drawn another monster yet. No! The Tomb World on the field is destroyed to destroy this card. Okay. I'm going to destroy it right now. That way we can get rid of that monster. Let's destroy Tomb World with our Twister. Let's do it. Had I just done that before, we would have we easily won. We would have easily beat this goon. Now we got to spend so many resources, so many resources. Get that out of here. Draw a monster. Maybe he won't draw a monster. Come on, fingers crossed. Nope. Oh, he's got the card. That's it. Yes. Okay, come on. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can we actually do this? All right, Elder Magician. This is perfect. Let's see what happens. I'm activating Magician Circle. You don't have any spell casters. You're a chump. You're a chump. No, you do have you come again. Are you kidding me? When this card is summoned. All right. Oh, oh, wow. I thought it was going to be 1800 by 16. I could have kept going. No! He's got magical arm shield as well? I think we lose, guys. He's literally using his millennium mind. I draw a monster, that's game. Not that monster! Well, that's game. That's actually unequivocally a loss. Stop it, Pegasus. Shoot! Alright, we're buying packs. We are buying packs. Well, so it seems that level 30 Pegasus. Level 30 Pegasus. I mean, I drew pretty poorly. I drew all three of my tribute monsters, which maybe I should only run one. Ooh, that little tune I'll give. It's not really a tune monster. Do I still get the multiplier even though I lost? Let's see. I do. So I still got 91. That's not terrible. 
I really rather not lose, but that's not terrible. All right, let's head to the shop. First of all, let's see if the new card is in the card trader uh, for today. Two summon skull. Oh. so bad i need to burn some super rares in order to get it shoot man shoot me in the toe and change my name to francis are you kidding me are you kidding me man all right i said i want to make the trade card trader why are you being resistant resistant all right let's go ahead let's get into the shop and i think we're gonna go with the ultimate i want to hunt his blue eyes let's just say hand hand fusion gate I'm still not, still not 100. This is the pack that I want to buy right now. It's not. Let's let's keep let's keep going anyway. Pack as much as I want the ultimate blue eyes, uh, just for like you know childhood purposes. I would really like to pull freaking Senju and Divine Grace. So let's go ahead. Let's do our 30 packs of the day. Remember, this is for you. This is this is just for the channel. You do not have to spend money in this game. Um, I do this because you guys help make me make money on YouTube by watching these videos, so, and you guys really enjoy the pack opening, so, let's just keep them going for you guys, let's keep them going for you guys, triple Karibo with a wink, pack number one, can it be done, Cthulhuin, Chulain, Chulain, someone told me the correct way to pronounce that and I already forgot, I've already forgotten, DD Crazy Beast, so, we're mainly looking for these ultras, or the super rare, the Paladin, I really do like the Paladin. I would love to make uh, a ritual deck based around that with blue eyes and what have you. Although we need more blue eyes because I need to start grinding against Kaiba. I have a lot I got to do in this game, man. I have a lot I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to play off screen in order to bring you guys some of the most high quality duels, the most variety of decks in this game. That's my goal. That is my goal. We're pretty much almost done with this pack. In general, I won't be buying many more after uh, after we get all the ultra rares in this pack. There's pretty much no reason. Pretty much no reason at all. I've already gotten, I think, one of each actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Buster Rancher. Oh, we got a special. What are you? Are you a super? Just a rare. What a lame pack. Come on, Kribo. Kribo, what are you doing to me, man? What are you, double rare? I'll take a double rare. I will take a double rare. Let's see. Scanner. Beckoning light. No, not a fan. Not a fan. Never was a fan. Never will be a fan. Dragon Seeker. All right. Another garbage card, in my opinion. Uh, man, throw, throw. Ranjin. We haven't gotten anything yet. What is that? 12 packs? 12 packs and nothing at all? Literally nothing? Can we get something? Ask and you shall receive. We got Rainbow Bam. What is it? It's an effect monster? Is it Tusku Samurai? Let's see. It's Leotar, and I think this card is underrated. If this card battles a non-normal monster, this card needs fiber to attack during the demo set. I think it's actually a pretty good card. Uh, because, like, I mean, the vanilla beatdown decks, obviously, but most people are going to be playing, like, ritual summons or effect monsters and what have you, so being able to gain that 500 beat, 2,000 beater for four is pretty darn nice, if you ask me. I think that's my third one, so I could rock them in a deck. Lycanthrope, one of my favorite rituals. Three Kribos, but no dice, dude. Literally no dice. Only one rare for three Karibos showing up. Are you kidding me? Are you guys bored? Are you guys bored? You must be. You must be. You must be. You must be. Meteor Dragon. Element Dragon. I think we've gone through like 15 packs with no ultras. One super. That's it. One super and that's it. Are we serious? This is the most... This is... This is... This is less lucky... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, this is less lucky than our first pack opening we ever had on the channel. Yes! We got the send you! Oh, my ritual deck is going to be so good. My ritual deck is going to be so freaking good. Oh, my goodness. Back to back, just two in a row, stupid as slow. Woo-wee! I love Jin. Uh, I love Jin. Jin is good. Jin is great in the ritual deck. So we, we literally are getting gift wrapped the rest of the ritual deck. I really need another signed bird. I really, really do. Um, but unfortunately... Oh, wow! 
I didn't realize they had the, the sale, the 10 packs plus one SR. I would have just done that for today. Shoot. Let's save that for another video. I'll have to save that for another cherry beans, man. Let's go. That's three. That's three. We're good. We got all the jerry beans we need. We got all the jerry beans we need. Okay, so this ended up being a pretty good pack opening. Uh, we got we got our ritual deck on deck. We got jerry beans. And we got one ultra rare out of that. One ultra rare. Okay. Okay, so one ultra rare, and there's what, three left? There are three left. There's only oh my gosh. Hold on, does this make sense? Yeah. If we buy the rest of the box, then we we have it all. There's only 48 packs left. That's crazy. Uh, I really do. I don't really want Half Shutter Meteor Black Dragon. I really do want Divine Grace, though. I really want her. She's just really, really good. I don't think I have even one of her yet. So I probably will buy the rest of this box before resetting it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I think I will. The only thing that sucks, let me just see real quick if Sonic Bird is still in this box or not. Sonic? No, I think I already got Sonic Bird. Yep. So the question is do I reset this box? Do I reset this box before getting... How many packs have I bought? I bought 47 packs total from this box. I really might. Like, think about it. Out of 47 packs, I already got one, two, three, four, five ultra rares. I'm definitely resetting this box. 100%. You know what? I'm feeling real feisty. I'm feeling real feisty. No, I'm not going to do it. I'll, I'll save it for another video. I'll save it for another video. Uh, I, I, I wish that I could actually go ahead and dual Pegasus again for you guys. I don't think I can. I have one star chip, so i got to grind them out over the course of lunch. My next thing that I get... So, I'm at 19,000 points. You only need 35,000. So, what, we duel them three times? So, you only have to duel them, like, six times to unlock him. That's not bad at all. That means we'll definitely have him in the next video. And, I mean, I may not have all of his cards or anything, because, look, in order to get start getting his cards... Blackluster Rituals at 90,000. Um, Tune Defense, which I probably would have run, is at 16,000. Relinquished is at 35,000. You only get one of them. Can you get another Relinquished? Can you get another Relinquished from him? You get Baby Blue Eyes at 120,000, it looks like. Or 1,200,000, oh my gosh. So I don't know if they're ever going to introduce... Well, they will. They said this event can run more, can run again. So maybe in the future we'll be able to get two relinquished and actually run the deck. I'm not sure. With that, though, I'm going to get the hashtag out of here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have a deck suggestion you want to see, please leave that down there as well. I love you so much. I hope to see you in the next video. Have yourself a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady. What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, the mobile addiction that has taken over my entire life. Today, there's a brand new pack out, and I'm so pumped because there I've heard there's some crazy stuff in it. I haven't looked through the pack yet because I wanted to do that live and give you guys my real-time thoughts on how these cards may change the game, what kind of decks they'll open up, and what have you. But before I do that, I want to show you guys my current deck that I'm using. And you guys can see I have a buttload of star chips. I've been grinding them out. I'm going to go ahead and burst Pegasus just once for you guys just to show you this deck in action. Uh, it's a ritual deck. And as you guys can see, it'll be on the layout as well. Uh, it uses the beatdown feature and Lycan... I call him Lycan Rock. It's Lycanthrope. I always call him Lycan Rock just because why the heck not? Pokemon references are cool. Uh, but it's a six-star ritual. Because it's a six-star ritual, I can attach the ritual weapon to it. And I'm only running one of these right now. Let's see how consistent it is. I'm also running a black pendant just because we have Jerry Beans Man, uh, a nice six-star that we contribute for the Lycanthrope. Uh, we have two Senju Hands and one Sonic Bird. If I can get another Sonic Bird, I definitely run two, just so you guys know. We run this beautiful Jin, which when you Ritual Summon with this card, they every time it does battle damage, your opponent has to discard a card. It's really, really cute, for sure. Uh, then for spells, we're running Twister, Shard of Greed. We're running two Synthesis spells. Uh, technically, I could run three and only run two Lycanthropes, but I like to discard Lycanthrope for Lycanthrope. So we'll see. I'll show you guys how it goes in action right now. We'll verse Pegasus level 40 once. Uh, I'll, I'll also show you guys. Today is only, I believe it's day two of the event. Uh, I believe it's day two. And I'll show you how many points I have total before this. We have 
282,000 points. The way that I just, the way that I'm running this event is that I need to get at least 300,000 points a day. The event goes for seven days, so if you get 300,000 points a day, you're guaranteed to get two million, which will get you all of the prizes you can get during this event. So I highly advise you guys try to do the same if possible. Uh, you, it should, as long as you battle all your duels, or all the duelists you can, and you get you're as high level as I am, so you can have nine duelists in your in your sites. That's the best way to do it for sure. And then, or you can just rank up. If you have six, rank up, beat all of them, then do all your missions during the process of grinding up star chips, and do the same thing over and over again. So we can, we already have a Lycan Throke here. Unfortunately, we're going first, which is terrible. I'm going to go ahead and set Twister so that I can actually pop his Tomb World once he tries to do some special summons with, like, special summoning Mermaid, getting that Goblin Attack Force out there. Since they can't attack directly, I can actually wait all the way until next turn if I want to, which we can see. He's already doing something shady, setting a monster, and then special summoning out Tomb Summon Skull. I'm going to wait till next turn, because I want him to go ahead and spend yet another... So he can special summon this thing? Oh my gosh. That's incredible. We drew... We only, we only played two synthesis spells, and we drew both of them. Are we serious? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to lose to Pegasus again due to draws. I'm going to lose to Pegasus again due to draws in front of you guys. Right. So he's got his Toon Cannon Soldier, which is just fine and dandy. Uh, right now I'm going to activate the effect. I know he might special summon a mermaid, but I feel like he would have done that before. So let's go ahead and let's just pop this Toon World. Destroy these monsters. And now he's screwed. All right, now we just have to draw either... Draw a creature. Nope, a black pendant. What is going on? Every time I turn on the camera, every time, it just becomes nothing but hell. Set a card. End your turn. Good. Get this. Get this. Pegasus really is not bad. If you if you can pop the Tomb World early, you should be good. We're gonna summon our goop, our Bazoo, uh, the Soul Eater. Not that we have any souls to eat, but I'll also go ahead and play the black pendant so we can hopefully end this in two turns. That would be fantastic if we can end this in two more turns. Now, realistically, I like playing the Ritual deck. Because you get extra points at the end for doing ritual summons. So I'd really like to do one still. Oh, no, the Pot of Dichotomy, which is also in the shop right now. I might try to get it. Seems like a really good card. Shuffle three cards into your deck from your discard pile. And then draw two cards. He's going to go ahead and Wild Tornado and destroy my Black Pen. So much... Do you really think that'll work on me? Take 500 to the face. And he's got another Tomb World that he got that he drew. He drew another Tomb World. Pays a thousand life points. And he's got a Tomb Gemini. This is what I was afraid of. All right. And he's gonna special summon his mermaid. This guy is broken, dude. Pegasus is absolutely broken. All right. So we, I do play an Ancient Dragon here, which I wanted to talk about. This is the cute little tech card. Against most CPUs, you can go ahead and get that direct damage, and then increases to five levels, gets 1900, and you can increase to level six to 2400. It's pretty nice. We can, we could potentially, we could potentially get our synthesis spell off right now. That face down is scaring me. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I probably will regret this. I'm sure next turn we're gonna draw our other lycanthrope, and we could have just gotten a free. Uh, not free, but we could have had three monsters on the field. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go in attack position and take out this Gemini. Well, unfortunately, all of Pegasus' tunes can attack directly, so you can lose pretty fast if you don't handle his, his monsters. Uh, so we're going to handle the Gemini right now. We actually have to take a 3400 next turn. And I love using this deck with the Kaiba beatdown because you actually go ahead. No! Dreadful reverse. Come on. Come on. We're gonna take so much damage next turn. We're gonna take so much damage next turn. It's alright, it's alright. I like using beat down because with like a throw, you can go ahead and do some serious damage. There goes another two mermaid. If we don't draw a monster, we lose the following turn. Uh, yeah, we'll lose the and I have to discard a card, don't I? I, I have to draw I just have to draw Jerry Beans Man. Jerry Beans Man, I don't even think that'll keep us in the game. Oh, it will, it will. Draw a monster, come on. What is going on with this game, dude? I'm getting washed every time in front of you guys. It's ridiculous. I, I, I never, I never have this problem. I grind it out. You guys see how many points I've grinded out? I beat Pegasus every time off screen. Every single time. That's wild. Oh, we beat him right now. <laughs> I forgot Beatdown's going to take us to the point where we can beat him. I scrubbed out. I scrubbed out, but I pulled it. I clutched it, despite being a scrub. 
Oh my goodness. Well, we put Betty Sis to shame and shamed myself in the process. You guys will see, look, we get up to 3,600. We actually pull Dark Eyes Illusion. It's flipped so that target Ormark in the field that cannot attack all his cards in the field. Okay, I like the card design, but no. And then spell reproduction, sp send two spell cards from your hand to the graveyard, and target one spell card to the graveyard, add the target to your hand. Hmm, interesting. That would do really well in the over 9,000 deck that I have. That would do really well in there. <laughs> so he clutched out a win, thankfully. I really thought I was done for. I really did. That was like the worst I've ever drawn with this deck, and we still got the win. So now we have over 600,000, that's great. I still have 191 starts, which I've been grinding out all day. Uh, we got new card sleeves. Whoa. Let me equip those right now. Give me those card sleeves. I want to show them off, even though I'm sure like, they're really easy to get, but still. What are they? I want to see what they look like. Where's the welcome to tomorrow? There we go. Pegasus. Ooh. All right, I'll equip these. I'll equip these. Confirm those bad boys. Confirm those bad boys right now. All right, anyway, the real reason why you guys have been here, let's go to the shop and let's drop some stacks on some packs. So let's see. What are the ultra rares in these packs? During your battle phase, if you're, oh, it's Tyrant Dragon. If your opponent controls a monster after this card's first attack, this card may attack again. So if they control any card, if they have a face-down card. Luna Rosa Ocean of Uptime, the new refillable fragrance by Prada. Negate any traps. Negate any trap effects that target this card. And if you do, destroy that trap card. This card cannot be spelled summoned from the from their graveyard unless you tribute one dragon type monster. Okay, that's a really good card. And then rigorous reaver. Each player discards one card. If this card is destroyed by battle, the monster that destroyed it loses 500 attack and defense. Interesting. Definitely an interesting card. Uh, and then let's listen to the supers. So I think that this dragon is going to be the new meta, the new two tribute. I mean, it's better than blue eyes, in my opinion. I know it's 100 points less, but it's a fire type, which there. I was already trying to build a fire deck because Nips inspired me. He has like a like a, a little cheeky fire deck, but there was not many good fire type monsters. But now, obviously, they're choosing to support fire. They've already supported water, so we'll see what they support in the next pack as well. I'm so pumped they're actually releasing them in the pack this fast. So once per turn, you can target one face down a uh, card in your opponent's spell trap card zone while this card fades the field. It cannot be activated. That's really cool. Once per turn, you can tribute up to two pyro monsters. This card gains a thousand attack for each. What? Dude, that's like an Oko in this game. That's crazy. Oh, I love it. Uh, a dark fiend. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, each player adds one level three or lower normal monster from their deck to their hand. Yo, with Jerry Beans, man. Oh, baby, this goes right in the vanilla Yugi beatdown. During your main phase, you can tribute summon one spellcaster type monster in phase attack position in addition to your normal summon set. What? If this card is summoned to the field to the graveyard, you can add one spellcaster type normal monster from your deck to graveyard to your hand. So, this box is supporting fire and so far Yugi pretty well. If this card is destroyed, send the top three cards to your. Oh no! Warm Worm? So that's gonna give uh, deck outs really, really nice support. The Shallow Grave is a great spell card. Um, Golden Apples, fantastic. When you take battle damage while you control the monsters, gain life points equal to the battle damage you took, so intent to javelin. And then you can special summon a token. That's, that's basically, it's basically like Gorge, it's like Gorge's token. Oh my goodness. Then we have Infernal Flame Emperor, which is a pretty good card. When you when this card is tribute summoned, you can remove from play five monster, five fire monsters from your graveyard, and then destroy uh, spells. So you can wipe out your opponents. Wow, so fire deck. The fire deck's really fun right now. This card can be used as double tribute. Yep, pretty standard. Uh, when tributing an earth, so you're getting a little earth support in there as well. This card is really good. When this card is written from the, I remember this from you can special one pirate. This card is so good. This card is so good. Granted, you have less cards in hand, you start with less cards in hand, there's not a lot of draw power, but still, I love it. Special summon one pyrotype monster. Gets to pyrotype. That's a dragon. Give me a pyrotype. That's actually this is actually a plant. That's wild. This is a pyrotype. So you can build a whole deck around Gaia Soul and the thing in the crater. Wow. Okay, we have another dragon. You can only activate this effect during your battle step. If this card, uh, if this card battles during your turn, discard one dragon type monster from your hand and increase the attack and defense by a thousand points. You can get two thousand out of the gate. Oh, uh, we've seen this card in the game already, but I don't believe it's been available. Frontier Wise, negate any spell effects that target a warrior monster you control. 
Uh, you can just face up card, take control of all face up level three or lower monster your opponent controls. Wow, that's crazy. And not until the end of the turn, you just take them. You just take them. Oh, I love Iron Blacksmith. I love toolboxing so much. That's so good. We have some new fusion monsters. Uh, negate the effect of a normal trap card by paying 1,000 life wins. Negate the effect of a spell card that targets this card, destroy it. Ooh. And then Dark Battler the Terrible. I, I remember this card. When a normal spell card is activated, negate the effect of paying 1,000 life wins. So it's like the same thing. Same thing, but for spells. Then we have target three level two or lower normal monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them from the grave. That's really cute. That's super cute. That's going to go with that Moki Moki deck. We have a fire equipped spell. Firestone Prominence, when this card is destroyed by battle and sends to the graveyard, destroy all face down non fire type monsters. And that just adds, they already have those for water, for wind, etc. This card cannot be special summoned. When this card is normal summoned, draw one card. But it's three, six, seven stars. If it was six stars, this card would be really broken. But it's basically tribute to draw one. But at the same time, you can use uh, Flame Ruler. And then you get to draw one. That's not bad. That's honestly not bad. Because draw power is so rare in this game. A warrior, so we're getting warrior support. At the end of the battle phase, this card destroyed a monster by battle and sent it to the graveyard. Equip all those monsters from the graveyard to this card as equip spells. That's awesome! Oh my gosh, it becomes 2650 as soon as he attacks that defense position monster. Insect Princess, so we get insect support. While this card is face up on the field, battle position of all face up insect type monsters you can equip on side of the field change to attack position. Each time this card destroys an insect type monster, increase attack this card by 500 points. And it's one tribute. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's see. We have Sword of the Soul Eater, which is already available in the game via the card shop, I believe. The card trader. Worm Bait. Activate only if you control of a face up insect type monster. Special summon two worm tokens to your side of the field. You cannot normal summon or special summon level three or four monsters per turn you activate this card. But you can do above that. Wow. So you can tribute them right away. So insects. So we got a lot. We got fire support. We got Yugi support. We have insect support. And then I believe we also saw a little bit of warrior support in this pack. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one Pokey Draco from your deck to your hand. Oh, baby. Here we go. Where's Pokey Draco? We have Mystical Shine Ball, which, of course, will synergize with the agent of creation, Venus. Twin Headed Dragon. It's, it's a three, six. It's a six star. So you can play cost down and just... Drop this. Art is terrible, though. I remember Empress Mantis. Uh, and Cosmo Queen! I loved this card! Cosmo Queen was one of my favorite cards of all time. This buffs all fire-type monsters the same way that the water-type uh, set has that. The water attribute, rather. Blast Asmodian. If any spell or trap cards are chained, it's put 500 damage. Oh, so burn is real. We could do some burn quick play. Woo! Each time a winged beast type monster on your side of the field is destroyed, this card gains 500 attack. Interesting. If you tribute summon, oh, wow, a, a dark normal monster. So basically only dark magician, cosmo queen, etc. Um, whereas, so the other, the Koskin is infinitely better than that card. And then more burn. This is great though. This is a 1500 fire type, which is pretty good for fire type. I haven't seen anything much higher than that for a four star. Uh, this is 1500 as well, 1600 defense. I think it's as high as we get. And I'll show you guys in a future episode. Um, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna drop. We're gonna drop 30 bucks and buy 30 packs uh, for opening right now. And I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna build a fire deck. I already have the engine. Uh, I just needed fire monsters. But now that I have access to fire monsters through this pack, we can build a sick fire deck, uh, which I'll try to show off next week for you guys. Here we go. Our first pack ever of the Flame of the Tyrant, and we're starting off strong. Kaiba looks pissed. I'm happy though. We have Sword Hunter, we already read this card, Cosmo Queen, and we got a super rare pack one, Emissary of the Afterlife. I really wanted this card because it works super well, super, super well in Yugi's deck. Awesome. Absolutely incredible. Flame Spirit Ignis, Firestorm Prominence, and Ryu Senshi. So we just read through all these cards. I don't think this is going to rock the meta too much, but it, it, it allows, I'm so, yes, I want this card. This card I really want. It's going to allow some new decks to really come through and shine. Like some good fire decks. Uh, insect Insect seems a little bit more viable now, for sure. The Thing in the Crater, beautiful card. It lets you special summon from your hand, right there. You're using resources granted, but I think it's worth it. We have... Uh
J.C. Gillette is an award-winning writer. Men's Health's Best Beer Trimmer for Beginners. Among Men's Journal's Best Beer Shampoos and Washes. And GQ's Best Beer Conditioners for Soft No Itch Facial Hair. Your beard is out, Trey. These are your tools. J.C. Gillette. Formaldehyde, which is used in taxidermy. Oh, dear. What? Formaldehyde. Oh, dear. What? I knew it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? Are you an elk? I don't know what I am. A potential, potential burn deck as well. And we have the milling deck. We have the Edwin's card sent to the graveyard or Pontus card's top three cards. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh! Is that the Ultra? Is that the Ultra? No, it's, no, it's not. It's N, N, and then just an R. I don't know, why Why did it shine? Can it, someone explain to me why it does that? Why do you do that to me? Why do you play games? You got another mystical shine ball. So we can even make that deck in the future. I can't believe they're already putting out a pack. And just so you guys know a little PSA, the other mini pack, the water one, is going to be available until March 15th, and then it's gone. Well, it could come back in the future, but there's no promises either way. Wait, why does Sword Hunter say new if you already got one? I know we got a Sword Hunter. Flame Spirit Ignis. And we got another super rare, the Electro, the Surgeon Electro. This is the one where you can target a face. Oh, this is the four star that's better than 1500. What am I saying? This is the only fire type. It is a machine type, but it's fire. So I don't know if I don't know if my deck focuses on pyro or if it's focused on fire. We'll find out right now. I think it's fire. Oh, is this actually gonna be an ultra rare? Is this actually gonna be the ultra rare? Nope, it's just a rare. Why do you glow gold? But I, I wanted that rare. I, this deck, this pack is full of good stuff. You guys gotta jump on this with your with your gems. Spend gems on this bad boy, dude. You can enhance some decks, make some really fun decks. Possessed Dark Soul. I really like this card. It's a three star 1400 in the Yugi deck, so nothing crazy. But a three. Ooh, we got the Infernal Flame Emperor. All right, very nice, very nice. I would run that. I would definitely run that in my fire deck. I really would love, uh, is it the Shallow Grave? Or what it's called. We already got two super rares, so I can't get too greedy. One ultra rare out of the 30 would be really, really nice. We got another Flame Ruler, which is great. Oh, our fire deck is going to literally be lit. It is literally going to be amazing. I cannot wait. I love this game. I love this game so much. And I just started Fire Emblem Heroes on the channel as well yesterday. I love that game too so far. I'm going to give it a little more time, but Yu-Gi-Oh! is just hard to top. Insect Princess, there she is. Flame Ogre and the Possessed Dark Soul. Come on. Come on, give us one Ultra today. Give us one Ultra. Don't be this guy. Don't. We already got one of those. See, some of these are saying they're new and they're not. I don't know why they're doing that. Are they different art? Are they prism? But then I'm not noticing that. We got a Blast Asmodian and the Trojan Hawks. Nice. That's a nice card to have. Definitely a solid card to have in case there's ever Earth support that I really want to rock out with. Another another Blacksmith. I will take it. Two is all I would run anyway. Two is all I would run anyway. So I am down to clown. Another Infernal Flame Emperor. Two is all I would ever run. Oh, I really want that Ultra Rare Dragon. Come on. Come on. No. One Karibo. Call your friends. We have food and drink. Another Trojan Horse. There's three. Is this the one? No, it's not. It's not glowing. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. There's three. No glow. I gotta go. There's no glow, so I gotta go. I'm gonna be upset. All right, there's some sort of glow. And Kaiba's looking angry. I don't know what this is gonna mean. It's a trap card. It's a trap card. The golden apples! I will take it! Oh, this card is so good! This card is actually a neutral. It's not plus one, but it's neutral, and it's so good. That's got to go in my decks. I got to redo all my decks now. Oh, my gosh. I love that there's a new incredible trap card. I love it. These golden apples, baby. These golden... That's it. We didn't get the ultra rare. Darn it! Well, I will tell you guys what. Look at all these Cosmo Queens we got. Because it's a mini pack. Oh, and they order them now. Ooh, is that new to the update? They didn't do it like that before. That's not... That is very nice. All right. I'll tell you guys what. We will definitely open up because we got neither of the ultra rares. And there's only 50 packs left. That means the next 30 packs we get are going to be out of control. 
honestly, the 10 packs is pretty worth. Although when you do the 10 packs, I don't think it counts towards the actual box. I'm almost positive it doesn't. Um, so I may just do that off screen after we buy the next 30 packs. Within the next 30 packs, we have to get both ultra rares. I don't want to have to buy, get another 20 packs from this box. I really don't. Uh, I, I would hope that I would hope that we don't have to do that. But that's going to be it for those packs. We're not buying any more. Uh, our golden apples definitely has to go in for sure. And I want to see really quick if we can we can go ahead. Let's try this ritual deck on the ladder. I'm kind of I haven't been on the ladder. Look, you guys can see I'm only silver rank three. I haven't tried. I haven't been on the ladder in a while. I've just been grinding out. Uh, cars and, and star chips wanting. I do have Pegasus. I haven't built the Pegasus deck yet, but I will. But I will. Yeah. I'll build it. But let's see if we can just win a duel with our ritual deck right now. Let's see if we can just go in and abolish you. This guy thinks he's the king of games. Are you kidding me? I will defeat you once and for all. Oh my gosh, there's something wrong with this deck. This deck has super stage fright. Super stage fright, man. I mean, I have the bird. I have two birds and I have two send you hands. And I don't draw either of them. That's why I want more of them. Because then maybe I'll actually draw them. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? knows? I don't know. So that's for sure. And I love Skier Career. Skier Career is one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. I can't believe we have the apples, man. We literally... And the apples would be great in this deck, considering how, how, how terribly we draw. We draw that card. It's like drawing a monster, basically. And it's like drawing a monster. Oh, it's so good. It's such a golden apples is such a good card. I, I love this monster. So I love it. It's gonna be so meta. That that's definitely gonna shift decks. You're gonna want that card. If you guys get any good polls, make sure you tweet them at me using the hashtag Shady Yugi. That'd be awesome. A lot of you guys have been tweeting me your polls no matter what. And I certainly do appreciate that. I'd like to see what you guys get. React and get a little jealous. And you guys get some really good stuff. And get happy for you guys as well. G sets two face down as well. And one face down monster. So three face down. Holy crap! I wish I was running the fire deck right now. I can't wait to take the fire deck. Sure, if he told him to record the next video right away so I could buy 30 more packs and uh, and proceed to make that fire deck sooner rather than later. There's the life of rope. It's crazy how bad this deck is doing right now. Maybe it's just it's just not a good deck, but it's been doing so well for me. I thought I was excited to bring it to you guys. But if you guys have any suggestions for this specific deck, maybe my my uh, my balance, I don't have the right curve of cards, let me know. I'm sure you guys are probably better at this than me. It's just crazy that it's, I've never had the problem. I draw a card. Like if I can draw Sonic Bird right now, that'd be great. And if I draw Senjun, I can start thinning out my deck. That's what I really like to do. Summon a monster in Summon the monster in attack position. Ooh, he's got the Firebird. He's got the Fire. And I have three Jerry Beans, man, in my deck right now. He's literally playing Fire. He's already got the Fire deck. He's already got the Fire deck. He's playing Firebirds in the deck. Oh, man. I would say that if I don't draw a monster on this next turn, I'm going to have to just activate Common Chatter again. I'm not going to use Skier Career yet. 